All right, hello, welcome to a new week and a new episode of the Hartlepool United Road to Glory Youth Academy Career Mode. We are here today once again with the five-game treatment. Hopefully, regaining our spot at the top of the table. Uh, just give me a moment and I will show you what's happened in the previous episodes. Well, last episode, anyway. Um, we had five games that we played and it's safe to say we had a bit of a struggle. We didn't kind of continue the form that we'd made in the first episode of the... Well, the first league episode of the season, where we uh, obviously went unbeaten for five games. We then kind of crashed a little bit. In the, the Papa John's Trophy, first game, first group stage game, we drew three all to Grimsby, which is not fun. Um, but we got a really good, late, lucky goal. Uh, it was a fantastic goal as well, though, to be fair. So we'll take that. We then lost 3-1 to Crawley, who were 23rd at the time. I think they're 24th now. Uh, it was just a... I don't know, it was weird because Crawley were doing bad and suddenly they turn up against us. Uh, but we did lose that. We then managed to play out a nil-nil draw. I can't believe I've done a nil-nil draw because there's always goals in my games. But a nil-nil draw against Swindon Town. We then lost 3-1 to Morecambe. I feel like we should have maybe won that one, but they got lucky and got the goals they needed. But we ended last episode with a 4-2 win against Doncaster. So it wasn't a complete L of an episode. Uh, and at the moment as well, our manager rating is 99. So it's not a big deal currently. We're at the top end of the manager rating. I don't know how many of these objectives we're going to do. The financial one I don't think will be a problem considering we sold Sutherland and we now have a lot of money. Um, the rest of them might not be done. The league title I'm hoping. FA Cup probably not. Clean sheets probably not. And the youth development maybe. We'll see. But anyway, after that last episode we're still in contention because other teams drop points as well. But it's so close. It's like a bottleneck at the top of the league right now. Morecambe sit top with uh, a better goal difference in Exeter. Both on 18 points. We are in third with 17 points and a nine goal difference. We've got a good goal difference. We scored a lot, but we're also still conceding a bit too many. I'd like to try and narrow that down. But every time I feel like I'm narrowing it down the next episode after, I just feel like I'm conceding more. So it's kind of a difficult situation to try and lock down, really. The playoff spots at the moment belong to Tranmere, Bradford, Forest Green and Gillingham. And as we read down the table... This is how the rest of the table is looking to kick off episode four of this season. Uh, bottom two, who would be relegated to the National League if it was in the game, uh, currently Brower, uh, ba I can't speak, Barrow and Crawley. Um, Crawley, one win they got came against us, but they've had a shit season otherwise. And I feel a bit bad, but it's the way it goes sometimes. You can't always beat the teams that you want to beat, and you sometimes lose the teams that you shouldn't lose to. What's up, Pirate? Jolin, welcome to the stream, mate. So today we got Carlisle, Bradford, which should be a fun one. Rotherham in some kind of competition. I don't remember which competition that is. Leighton Orient and then Grimsby today. So I'm just trying to... What competition have we got with Rotherham in? Is that the Papa John's as well? It will be, yeah. All right, so then we'll play Rotherham and then Grimsby will play Rotherham and then we'll know if we'll go through. That's okay. Do we know what we're doing in the FA Cup yet? That's the question. We've got Wimbledon. Wimbledon in the first round of the FA Cup. Winnable. Very winnable. I would like to go on a cup run. Round of 16 probably ain't going to happen, but I'd like to go on a cup run. Um, When do we play Wimbledon? 8th of November. So probably next episode. But anyway, we uh, are ready to go, as we'll ever be. The team is prepared. I'm just going to give it my all and hopefully we can get some good results and not bottle any of it today like we did last time. But anyway, let's get into the news first of all. Galloway scores first goal this season. Galloway scored for the first time this season to push Hartlepool United to a 4-2 win against Doncaster. It was a header, I believe, towards the end of the game. And then Tiziano Conti, who we sold in summer. He's gone to Lucerne. Expectations are always high on joining a new club, and since Tiziano Conti's departure from Hartlepool, his time under Frick hasn't been exactly inspiring. Recent performances have left fans and the Lucerne manager doubting the value of their new acquisition. He's not doing what I imagined he would for the team, and uh, moaned one dejected Lucerne supporter. Hartlepool can have him back if they want. <laughs> oh dear. What's his rating? Is he still 66? Um... I'll have a look. Is he still 66? Yeah, he hasn't gone up. It was probably the right move to move him on, to be honest. Although, he might have stuck around as a good backup. Although, I guess we moved him now. It's too late. 
I'm doing alright, mate. Um, I stream this evening, and the idea was trying out Diablo 4 if it's installed. I'll come in and take a look if I've got, um, if I'm in, I might be out tonight, I don't know yet. But if I'm at home, I will uh, definitely pop in and take a look. What other news stories we got? I think that was it, wasn't it? Unless you want to know about other clubs, I suppose. Why the new role for Moffat? Uh, it's because he's left back by trade, really. We don't have right back because of convenience. Fans are used to seeing Moffat play as a right back, so it comes as a surprise to learn that the manager now wants to try him as a left back. Does the boss see this as a permanent switch? I do. Or is a short term change of role to help Moffat develop his own game? No, he's going left back because he is um, left footed. And in the team of the week last week, we had Fran Ochoa involved. So good, good, good. After we beat Doncaster. So I think that's all us, uh, all we needed to be caught up. Uh, I never played Diablo 4. I've got interested to see the Diablo 4 trailer. I've not had a look at it. I'll need to have a look at it because it might be interesting. What's up, Aiden? Welcome to the stream, mate. The team's doing good. The team, a bit of a bumpy ride last episode, but this is where we're at just now. Uh, once again in the table. We're in third. We're in an automatic spot. Struggled a bit last episode, but we still managed to cling on for now. We're still in the conversation, but it's very close early on this season. So hopefully a few more games today will kind of separate us or maybe separate some other teams from us. We'll try to get a bit of a lead on the um, competition. When is the next Bolton stream? Probably maybe Saturday or Sunday. I don't know. If I can do it throughout the week, I'll do it uh, either. I'll maybe do it Thursday if I've got the time. But probably Saturday or Sunday. Um, because I've got more time at the weekend to do the rebuilds. To put more time into them. And we can just chill a bit more at the weekend. Right. First game against Carlisle. They're at Brunton Park. I believe their stadium name is. Let's make sure we've got a good team. Uh, as we head in here. Because they are in 7th. And they've got 5 back. I'm going to go with Roberts here. He probably breaks their 5 back better. We've got Howell and Rodriguez. Nezovic can come in for a game as well. And I think that's all the changes we make. I want to bring Martinez in at some point. You know, put Martinez on the bench. Give him some more minutes. But uh, this is the team for today. Duncan uh, in goal with Moffat and Alonso as the fullbacks. Galloway and Contreras as the centre-backs with Galloway captaining the side today. Cochran centre-mid. Nezovic, Cam. Ochoa left wing. Roberts right wing. And then Rodriguez and Howell will lead the line for Hartlepool United at Brunton Park. It is Carlisle United versus Hartlepool United. A big win required against playoff competition. But we'll see what we can do. First game of the week. So it might go to shit. But we'll have a look and see what we do. Got it, I missed one. Yeah, I, it was kind of off the spur of the moment. I wasn't, intend, I wasn't intended to do it. But uh, yeah. I mean, it's on the uh, Twitch channel. It's on the YouTube channel as well. But I suppose it's not the same as watching live. Big grand opening for a Carlisle versus Hartlepool game. <laughs> I suppose it is top of the table clash. We're third, they're seventh. Ask away, mate. I hate coming against five backs, man. And I hate coming up against the Mari Patrick because he always scores past me. So I'm assuming we'll concede at least one, but we just need to try and get the three points here. We don't have to... It doesn't have to be pretty. It just has to be a win. I think in these early seasons, it's going to be more about just getting it done however we can rather than looking good while doing it. A bit more of a scrappy start to this career mode.
I do like the look of this team. This is good, a good team for League Two. We should be going up this year. But uh, it comes partly down to my skill as well, which is the issue. And just watch as well. Any potential audio cutouts I am unable to fix. I don't really know what is causing them, but I don't know what... Uh, fixes either so if the audio cuts out it's just gonna have to be something i roll with and we roll with here and go along with jesus christ all right well Mari patrick has just pulled my pants down and he's just gone straight for it that's brilliant from logan duncan number nine hits the post and then the, the uh, ability to get back into that to save it by logan duncan carlisle are out for a fight today of course in real life now a League One team, whereas Hartlepool have gone the other way to the National League. But in this save, it's a lot closer. Contreras heads it away only as far as Roberts. Falls to Patrick again with another save from Logan Duncan. You please help me pick a career mode team outside of England, but they have to be in Europe. Give me more than one, then I will pick. Um, are you wanting lower, like a lower league team or are you wanting like a top team? What kind of league are you wanting? Like, are you want a team that's going to be a lot of money or you want a team that's going to be... Uh, not? Is Patrick in the, the... No, it's not Patrick. Someone's in the goal and they're injured. They're just lying down in the goal. <laughs> Sorry, I distracted me. I can't get distracted. But yeah, it depends what kind of team you want. If you want a team that's rich and... Um, easy to go with in a career mode I can give you a couple and if you want a team that you want to build from the bottom like a, a road to glory then I can also give you a couple uh, I'll try to find Rodriguez it was intercepted and Patrick will bring it away for Carlisle Carbine Nezovic he does have some defensive ability but he's just not a left back is he which is fine ah uh, try to find Nezovic he's cut out they're just going with that two attack and hoping aren't they we've not really got anyone back Galloway should, or somebody should deal with this. I'll mox him with the power shot. Just uh, any team. Yeah, you could always do one in Belgium. Go for uh, Club Bruges. It'd be a fun little one to try. Edmondson does have an injury for Carlisle. He's there number nine. And they come close there with the power shot. It's been an open game so far a lot more towards Carlisle but I'm just kind of waking up not waking up but like getting back into the feel of playing this game I'm going to wait for a while again I wasn't planning on doing an episode today because it's been such nice weather but I feel like I better had oh Patrick good save Duncan not Club Bruges anyone but them <laughs> alright um, what about Antwerp I think I know why. I think I know why you don't say club uh, coverage. We'll go Antwerp. There's a reason for that. No. <laughs> you got one in mind? Who have you got in mind? Cochran plays it to a show. We're going to have to just try and... I don't know what we're going to have to try and do. Carlisle is strong defensively. Try and aim it for Nezovic. I don't know why Rodriguez is on the edge. Can't control it with him either. Cochran comes in and takes the ball. Nezovic. Why not? Uh, that's why not. It's an effort at least. An effort on target. Nothing special, but at least we've had an opportunity now. But they are just defensively sound. And it's going to be hard to break them down. But hopefully it'll be hard for them to break us down consistently as well. But so far they've had the better of us. Ramon Alonso closing it down, and that should go for our throw off of Omari Patrick. Mainz from Germany or Lyon or Lille. Lille will be a fun one. I reckon Lille will be a decent one. But it honestly is up to you. That one I was thinking was maybe uh, Schalke. They've got a good history. They could be fun. Cochrane. Oh, not far off. They won the Cup and League this year, but might be interesting. Depends on the story you want to build. Yeah, it's more it, more dependent if you want to do it as like a long-term thing or if you want to do it as like a short-term thing. 
But my, my suggestion from Germany as well would be Schalke. Italy, I would say go maybe Sassuolo as well, potentially. They're always a little fun team to use. Got some good little talents. Well, I mean, chances have gone for both teams now. Logan Duncan's kept us at nil-nil, but we've also had the opportunity to put the game in our favour. Still yet to find the goal in this first half. Cochrane. Nezovic. He's going to try and find a way around them because this is difficult to break them down. Roberts. Cochrane. Howell. She needs to get the space. Good shot. Nezovic can't get there. Melish, I think, has given us a corner. God damn. Keepers are on form to kick off this game as well as their defence. Just being a pain to break down. Let's find a big man in here and see if we can get a goal off the corner. Contreras, hopefully the target. It's going to lock on to number five. Rafa Contreras doesn't get the uh, technique. Cochran. Back to Contreras, who's just retreating, which is smart. They're all still sat back. Nezovic tried to power one. It was closed down. Should be using that more really, the power shot. Amari Patrick's got the pace to get through here. He's getting pressured the whole time by both Alonso and Galloway, unable to put a meaningful effort on target. And it was, I think, the pressure of both the right back and the centre back there closing down the number 10. But he just, when he gets on his speed, he gets away, which is why I need Galloway to stay on him, because Galloway's got the pace. Contreras doesn't. If it's between Contreras and Patrick, there's a, a one winner in that race. If it's between Patrick and Galloway, there's a bit more of a chance. But uh, we've had kind of 50... Oh, actually, but more of the possession. Uh, we've had a couple of chances recently, but nothing concrete yet. The closest one was with Harry Howell. Nezovic, power in one. Oh, Jesus. So sometimes that's why you don't use the power shot. <laughs> I try, I'll try and bring it into my game a bit more, but maybe with the correct player, we'll use the power shot rather than someone who's going to blaze it over like that. If you come to a decision, Aiden, do you know what team you're going to use? If you need any more uh, suggestions as well, I can give a couple more suggestions. Mezovic down to Rodriguez. Achawa. Cochrane, Nezovic, Cochrane's been fouled, oh it's a cracking save from Luna, what a fantastic save, Morgan Freena getting the yellow card for the tackle on Cochrane, my god, what an effort from Nezovic, I don't know if they're going to call it back for the free kick, it's definitely a yellow card, I don't know if they're calling it back for the free kick or for continuing with the corner here, corner is the answer, Schalke or Braga or Lille or Antwerp, can you please pick two to help me narrow it down? Uh, go for go for Lille and go for Antwerp, I would say. And then pick one out. Because Antwerp's one that we want you to do and then Lille's one that you want to do. And then you can pick between those. Bokram. Off the edge now. He's trying one. Galloway. Nezovic. Trying it again. We're getting, very, we're getting a lot closer here. Nezovic is trying a bit too much to be a hero today. Maybe, maybe need to calm it down on the long shots, but each shot is getting closer from Savka Nezovic. I think it's just a matter of time before we break the deadlock. Well, nearly at the half, and it's been 50-50. We've had, all right, Carlisle had the early scare on us, but... Um, Second part of this half, it's been more us. But then Carlisle getting poked through there. Bit of a collision between Duncan and the uh, Carlisle attacker. I'm not sure which Carlisle attacker it was. We were able to bring it away. Rodriguez, Howell asking for it. He is a pure striker of the ball. But not today for some reason. He's absolutely mishit that. That's an awful effort. That is a diabolical effort from Harry Howell. You're going to do Antwerp. Good choice. Good selection. So I sold Sutherland to in this career mode. 
can't promise you him, but they do have a good team. Galloway, oh, doesn't win the header and, and continues to run. It's Nezovic's interception. Nezovic has become a very important part of this midfield. Very quickly. I know his initial position is left wing back, and once we switch him to centre mid, his rating will probably go higher than what it should be allowed in this league. Franachowa, turn the half. We're going for some speculative efforts. It's hard to break this five back down, so we're going for shots from range and hoping a bit more. Um, hasn't happened yet, but there's some very close efforts coming in. Nezovic and. Um, Choa just there, the closest. Nil, nil. I'm streaming tonight and try to reach 100 followers to come check it out too. Yeah, if you're in the chat, go give Pirate Joel a follow. He's in for that 100 follows and he's uh, streaming tonight. Diablo 4, I believe, is the game. If you're a Diablo 4 fan as well, go have a gander. 1-0 to Forest Green at the break over Gillingham. 0-0 between Harrogate and Stevenage. 0-0 between Colchester and Sutton. 0-0 between Grimsby and Exeter. 1-0 between Leighton Orient and Crewe. 1-0 to Salford over Bradford City, which is painful. 1-0, uh, 1-0 I should say, between Doncaster and Tranmere. 1-0 to Rochdale over Morecambe. 1-0 to Swindon over Barrow. 1-0 to Wimbledon over Crawley. And then 1-0 to Newport over Mansfield. Only a couple of games still at 0-0. And we are one of those games. Yet to find a goal here at Brunton Park. We've had more of the chances, but there have been more speculative efforts than anything else. 65 to 35 in terms of possession and 10 shots to 7. But uh, the expected goals in favour of Carlisle United. Less passes, more just run-throughs. 1.1 expected goals and 0.8 for us. So, I mean, the chances have been about. We just haven't been able to break a deadlock. Duncan's done well for us the first half. And Luna, whenever we've shot on his goal has saved from us. It could be a one-goal game, this one. Which way will it go? Alonso. Try to put it over to Roberts. That'll be Mellish's all day long. Bit heavy from Ramon Alonso, but Nezovic picks it up. Harry Howell in the perfect position and another save. That was a poor pass, and it was cut by Nezovic. Ball went in to Harry Howell, who you'd expect to score ten times over in that situation. But this goalkeeper today, Thomas Holy's been there either benched or sold from Carlisle United. They brought in Luna, and he's put in a worldy of a game so far. Roberts in to the box. Nezovic, the target, seems to be everywhere. Galloway, Contreras, from range! Ah, it got blocked. Rodriguez for the header. Kind of vortexed a little bit there. Last time Contreras had a power shot, he nearly put the crossbar into pieces. Cochrane, Howell will win that, will fall to Carlisle here, and Omari Patrick could be through. Good covering by Galloway, what a track back from the Scotsman, that's what I mean. Contreras maybe can catch up, but Galloway will definitely catch up, and that was good tracking back. Roberts into Howell, it won't make the Welshman know the pass. Nezovic trying to come across, now Alonso blocks it from Armour here. Down to Roberts. Howell once again. I think Feeney's picked up an injury now. Cochrane spots Moffat. Will it get to uh, Douglas Moffat? It won't. It was a good idea in principle, but now we're adrift in numbers at the back. Moffat's going to make the run back. And we're back in position here to try and do something here. Moffat with the tackle. Very good tackling here. That's what I need to try and improve on, but I feel like I'm improving at it with the tackles. So Choa to Rodriguez now. He's got the pace, but he does need a bit of support in the middle. Will that support come? It will, with a couple of bodies coming in! And it's Ethan Roberts who just arrows it wide. What's up, Jordan? Welcome to the stream, mate. Hope you're well too, mate. That's a bit a lot of times. Edmondson coming off now for number 14. I don't know who that is for Carlisle, but Roberts coming close once again to breaking the deadlock. Yet to see the deadlock broken. Now we're into game here. Ethan Veghorst, yeah, it's been an unlucky miss there. It wasn't even meant to lock onto him, it was meant to be for Harry Howell. Didn't lock on to the correct player. Murphy has now come on for um, Carlisle here. That's offside, I believe, against Armour. 
Nezovic had a good day. I don't want to bring on uh, Mills just yet while um, Nezovic has been having a good day. He's been everywhere, that man. And once his position change is done, he's probably going to be way too high rated for this team. It might be a one and done for Savkin Nezovic uh, for, this, for this next season. I don't know. It depends on what his rating comes to. I don't want to have it unrealistic, but I do want to keep him about because he's been fantastic so far for us. Roberts. Try and cut back. Harry Howell's there. It's just not locked onto him properly. And Carlisle can bring it away again. Still no goals so far today. First game of the episode. We're yet to find a, a goal. It might be one in a minute if we don't watch out. Douglas Moffat try to get across. Murphy's put it wide. Oh, fuck. What? Wait, he's already taken the... No, hold on a minute. He's already taken a shot at that point. I've gone in to try and block the shot. Oh, bugger off. I've gone in to go for... I've, uh, I mean, I've kicked at him, but he's already taken the shot. Uh, yeah, he's... he's. I've made contact with him. I've taken him out. But the shot's already gone off. I don't... Ugh. I mean, you can maybe give it, but he's already taken the shot there and put it wide. And now it's a Carlisle penalty. Fuck sake. Mofo, fault, obviously, but at the same time, I don't agree with the call. Gibson makes it 1-0, Carlisle. I feel like it's a bit of a robbery, but at the same time, it probably is a foul. It's just he's taken the shot already. It wouldn't have made a difference to the play. That's what I'm getting annoyed about. Uh, it's a good penalty as well. Tight into the bottom right. Sent Logan Duncan the wrong way. Just try to close the shot down and end up getting him instead of the ball. Hey, that's attempted murder. All right, it's not that bad. Brunton Park going into raptures now. Third goal of the season for Gibson, and we need a miracle. We haven't been able to break down the defence all day. We've been taking shots from range and hoping, but now we need a goal. Now the goal has to come from us next. Rodriguez, Cochrane, now for Anachoa, turns his man, just so many players back, can't break through, Alonso, good run, into Roberts, off to Howell, please, you're the main goal scorer, blocked by Feeney, Cochrane, Howell cut when ahead, he's 5'6", uh, Cochrane, off the edge, from range, it's blocked by Feeney, We're going to make a change. It is going to be Cochrane, I think. Was I, uh, Actually, no, Nezovic is more tired, isn't he? We'll go Nezovic, Mills, and then I think we'll bring on Saar for Howell. That might be a risky move, but we're doing it. Need a bit more height, I think. They're going to make a change as well. We need two goals. One would be good. Two would be fantastic. Come on, Hartlepool, you can do it. Yeah, let's go for it. Howell, Nezovic for Saar and Mills. Refreshing the team a little bit with some more quality. Can we get at least an equaliser? I legit stopped playing FIFA fully. Give me a shot, it does my head in. I feel like that a lot of the time, but I do enjoy this career mode. Galloway can't win the header. Mills, Cochran. The ball just dribbles away from him. Can't get the ball under his control there. Cheris out muscles Patrick on that one. Now Cochran. Come on, boys. Saar, Mills. There's so many defenders. Cochrane. Mills again. With a bit of space. Good save again, Luna. Oh, the goalkeeper's been fantastic today. It's just a moment of me being silly that has cost us this game potentially. Because Duncan's had a fantastic game. Luna's had a fantastic game. The goalkeepers have been immense today. Stupid penalty from me giving away. I still don't agree with the situation, but oh, Roberts has misheaded that. That, that was that might have been a defender. I was going to say. I think I don't think Roberts has put that much on it. Pushing for it, we're going for it all we can. And Kosi's wanting on. Bit of a disagreement with Shabalala there. Wondering if he should be coming on because Moffitt's on a yellow. Saw the target. Oh, off the line. Saved by Luna onto his defender and gobbled up by the goalkeeper. Moffat wins the header though. We're still going for it. Rodriguez, Fran Ochoa. Back into the Peruvian. 
Cochrane's asking for it on the edge. He's going to try and make a bit of space. Oh, fuck's sake. I can't get through. Cochrane again. Millimetres away. We're going to bring on Mariano Martinez for a bit of Spanish flair and see if that does anything. We'll just throw the kitchen sink at it now. Ethan Roberts going to make way for Mariano Martinez. Luna launches it towards Murphy. Contreras. Ochoa now. I was relying on Contreras to win a header, even if it doesn't exactly go well. Rodriguez. Tassar. So many people on him. Oh, it was for Mills. Why is it locked onto Martinez? Ah, no. We're going to take an unfortunate L here, and it's my own stupidity that's going to maybe do it. But good tackle from Alonso. Now Cochrane into Ochoa. In front of Ochoa. Create something here. The little Argentinian that could. He does. It's one all Hartlepool. Fran Ochoa, good little cut in there. They opened up and gave him the space. And he can shoot. We know it now. He can put the ball in the back of the net sometimes. A new pacey centre back and a new pacey striker for 25 million. The striker could be uh, Daka from Leicester. He's fast and he should be cheap. But I'm not sure about centre back. I have to shoot someone in the box and. Throwing them head first into the post bubble ties to get a penalty for it. Oh, mate. What's up, WH here? Tom17, thank you for the raid, mate. I appreciate it. And uh, welcome to all the raiders from the channel. Um, Hartlepool career mode using only Youth Academy players is the game here. We've just equalised and we're looking for a win against Carlisle. Season 3, League 2. But it's uh, a difficult progress because five at the backs are my nemesis. Cochrane to Mills. Can we continue this momentum and find a winner? Mills into Martinez. Off to Rodriguez. Oh, it didn't have enough on it. Try to get it off to uh, our striker there, Rodriguez. Didn't happen. But yes, once again, thanks to the raid, WHU Tom. I appreciate it fully. Oh, come on. We can't close anything down. It's not a good save. From Duncan. What's the injury time saying? Five minutes of added time. Come on, boys. Cochrane. Ochoa's saying, give me it, I'll run onto it. Doesn't run onto it fast enough. It does win the ball out. Come on, boys. Ochoa. Off to Rodriguez. Please put it in the back of the net. Carlos Rodriguez. 2 1. Hartlepool. What's up, Skipdal? What's up, Zipra? W's all in the chat. What's up, Tom? I can't be here for long, mate, because I've got stuff to do. But if you're live another time, if, if you're still live and I'm next for you, I'll pop in. No wonders, mate. Uh, no worries, even, mate. I'm fucking, I'm all over the place with that winning goal. But yeah, no worries. I uh, appreciate the raid and welcome to the stream. Oh, what a winner. Carlos Rodriguez. I don't know if I deserve it, but I damn sure wanted it. Channel Rails are raid. Thank you, Pirate Joel, and I appreciate it, mate. But yeah, welcome to everybody who's coming in. If you enjoy the content, leave a follow. I would appreciate it massively. Do do other games as well, but it is mainly this career mode that gets the uh, gets the main stage on this channel. Can we hold on for a few minutes, please? Don't bottle it, lads. Galloway, just knock it back to Duncan. All right. Yeet it out the pitch. No worries. That should be it. Oh my god. That's that's um I mean it's kind of what's the word? Karma for that penalty, but at the same time, it probably was a penalty. Uh yeah. It's practice. Alright, it's not for the abuse, but yeah, thank you. I appreciate the raid once again, mate. And hope you all enjoy your days and enjoy the stream. My god, what a time to come in as well as we find a late winner. To potentially put us back to the top of the table. Timing is impeccable. 2-1 win. Gibson getting a penalty for Carlisle, which probably was a penalty. But he'd already taken the shot the striker, so it was a bit, yeah, don't know, 50-50 on it. But they've given it, and he scored it. A chow with the equaliser. He can actually put the ball in the back of the net. And then Carlos Rodriguez. We're going to watch those limbs again because I want to. He finds a way. Achoa as well, very much involved this game. Got the equaliser and set up the winner. 
That rocket of a shot from our Peruvian wonder kid. Up the pole, absolutely. Art Lepole going to the top eventually. But uh, Carlos Rodriguez sending the away fans into ecstasy there. What a win for Hart Lepole after I feel like I felt like we lost. We had plenty of opportunities to do it. It's just the accuracy wasn't that great today. 64 to 36 in terms of possession, 20 shots to 10, and 3.8 expected goals to 2.5. Uh yeah, so I tried to shoot from range because I couldn't break their defense down. Eventually we found the way through. And we got two fantastic goals. And the man of the match has to go to Rodriguez, right? Or Ochoa. I'd take either of them for man of the match, to be honest. Ochoa with a goal and an assist off that left-hand side. A fantastic little player. The loan spell did him wonders. And he's come back looking for, just for glory. He is hungry and he's ready to go. Carlos Rodriguez with an 8.3 and a goal as well. He's our potential to be special Peruvian striker. And he's going to be here the whole time. Jack Cochran as well with an assist from Cam and an 8 rating. Ramon Alonso running up and down that line. 7.8. Did not stop running. Strong defence. Good goalkeeping up until the penalty. But you can't really do much for a penalty. Seven shots, six saves, one conceded. Which was, of course, that penalty. Uh, the best player for them was Amari Patrick. Who always, always scores against me. But not today. And it scored against me today. Luna was a very good goalkeeper as well. He's a regen. Adrian Luna. Maybe keep a, uh, an eye on him. Maybe take a look at him and sign him down the line. Eight shots on his goal because we... We're very off target today. Six saves, two conceded. And um, ultimately the goal was the penalty that came from Jordan Gibson. But we will take that and we will move on with happiness. Messi going back to bloody Barcelona. I hate seeing them happy. Yeah, nah. I don't like seeing them happy, but Messi to Barcelona is, is the right move. It's historic. It's the move that has to happen. Say we're not pacey, sent it back for 12 million. Bella Kotchap, maybe. He's a little fast. I don't know if he'd be worth 20, uh, 12 million. Always left it late, but we keep going to the very last minute. We didn't switch off defensively. We were very good defensively today. It's just that penalty that I, um, I did give away. I don't know if it was a foul, but... Good move. Such a big game against rivals for the supporters. Would you already might let them down? We're rivals? I mean, we must be rivals. Uh, that might be why the whole thing came on at the start of the game. But um, got winners in my team. I don't know how much Saint Juice would cost either. He's pretty fast. But he's, I think he's like 27, 28 now. I don't know how much year, how many years to have for him. Will you please limit Carlisle's chances today? Yeah, we've done well. We cope very well. Patrick is a pain in the arse, is what he is. But, um... Duncan having a good day. A defence, solid. And eventually, that last-minute winner from Rodriguez. That's just game one, boys. Five games on this stream, as per usual. That first game really, hopefully, sets the tone. Ayanda Smith will go on a loan agreement to join Cristiano Ronaldo in January. That's confirmed. And then Malcolm K, who's apparently a wonder kid that was uh, put in an article saying these guys are the next big thing, which I'm happy to agree with. And he will go to Hermannstadt till the end of the season as well. That will go through in January. Also, player chat, Malangu wants to play a bit more. Um, I will give him a bit more time. I'll give him the next game because I do want to use him. He's got good potential. And he had a great loan spell. Oh, up next is Bradford. Ah, <laughs> Looking at the academy then, what we're seeing in terms of talents here. Hansen has completed his move to centre-back. And he will go up to 63. He looks amazing, by the way. The only reason I'm keeping him, in, keeping him in here just now is seeing what his potential rounds out as. But he will definitely be brought up sooner rather than later. Thomas Bishop from Australia, he's come along fantastically as well. I'll keep an eye on him. There's some good talents coming through here that will need to find some... Uh, game time for and yes you missed it last time Jordan got another Shabalala um, an actual maybe somewhat decent one um, Lebohang Shabalala will probably be a cam would maybe move him up to striker but he is smaller so cam's probably the correct place it'll take a lot of work but if his potential is in the right place we can maybe make him the Shabalala of the series if not we can keep looking 
But we have to have a Shabalala by the end. And we will. He should go to Saudi. They're getting uh, Benzema or have Ronaldo. They're interested in Alba, Ramos, Busquets. They're trying to rebuild the 2000-2010 La Liga. They're just trying to sign anyone who's uh, on their last legs, to be honest. Jim Arango getting a loan deal. That will go through in January as well. Another one I absolutely want to go through because this guy's got potential all over the place. Um, yeah, Noren Bamba's pretty good. Lower Rob is fast. I have to go. How long will you be streaming today? I'll be streaming up until... I'll be do, probably It's probably usually around three hours. So probably about another two and a half hours, maybe max. I usually do five games per episode. So probably about two and a half hours, maybe. A Brandon Steele transfer offer. This will get a lot of people, especially Jordan, excited in the chat. We're going to try and penny pinch a little bit here. See if we can get the most out of Brandon Steele here. But yeah, usually it's around... For these career mode episodes, it's usually around three hours. Five games per episode. I'll try and push up to 500k. And I've accepted that. That's fine by me. Cat this club. Yeah, Brandon Steele could be going through to Sarpsborg in January. For now, though, we've got to keep him till then. Uh, we've got some youth scout reports available before the Bradford game. Players on international duty. We've got three going. One of them is our goalkeeper. And I don't really have a backup. That could be an issue. That could be a problem. Logan Duncan is our only good goalkeeper. I should get one off this report, which might save us. Harry Howell and Curtis Mills will also go to Wales for international duty. But we'll be missing Logan Duncan. That will be, uh, that'll be pain. Uh, okay, I'll try to jump in again. Oh, right, I see you next time. Have a good day, mate. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. If you can't make it, I will see you next time. Yeah, I tried to get stream elements to work. It's only the basic stuff. I need to try and sort it out somehow. And we will do it at some point. Nemeni and Kosi. Um, I don't think we're going to go for him. We've already got a Nemeni and Kosi. He doesn't look that good. Overall, 40 to 54. Potential 56 to 76. I'm going to decline. Mishengu Smith. Overall, 41 to 57. Potential 63 to 87. Might be uh, controversial, but I'm also going to decline him as well. Potlako Shabalala. It's a good name, if nothing else. But the uh, rating is poor. Overall, 40 to 54. Potentially 56 to 76. We're going to decline. Uh, Jabu Kamalo. Got the same first name as the manager. Overall, 44 to 60. Potentially 54 to 72. We're going to decline as well. The overall doesn't look too bad, but the potential doesn't lend itself to anything special. And Dimi Shabalala. Overall, 41 to 55. Potentially 61 to 81. I'm going to decline him as well. Not a great South African report. And let me riz up stream elements. Do do you, mate, but... I don't know. I can't get it. I, I haven't got it sorted properly yet. We could have a good couple of players in here. We've got Craig Boyle. Overall, a 41 to 55. Potentially 58 to 80. We're going to decline. Paul Gleason, Overall, 37 to 51. Potentially 52 to 72. We're going to decline. But this man next is hoping... I'm hoping he'll be good. Tommy shit. You fucking got to be joking. I thought he was going to be good. I thought he was going to be the man from this report. Tommy Sheard, overall 47 to 65. Tesla 53 to 73. I mean, he's got good valuation, but his potential is so bad. We'll give him a, maybe a chance. Uh, Evan Maguire as well. Overall 43 to 59. Tesla 71 to 94. He might be the better one, but the youth squad is full. We're going to have to take uh, a chance here and release... I think it has to be Sheehan because his potential is not that great. I'll give him a chance. We're going to promote. We're going to promote this kid, Hansen. I know I said I want to wait for his potential, but the, the academy is full. I want to see what he's about. It also means we can bring in Evan Maguire, but we still have one more report to go through. That lad looks like Sheamus. That's not a Shabalala, mate. Check his passport. Transfer budget update. 23 million. So do you still need the striker or the centre-back? Or what do you need now? Because I can try and assist. Final scout report from England. We might have to maybe move some stuff around in the youth academy. But first of all, we'll go through the players. Riley Foster. Uh, Forster even. Overall 39 to 53. Potentially 50 to 68. We'll decline. Marcus Dyer. Overall 45 to 61. Potentially 60 to 82. Uh, I'm kind of basing this off evaluation as well when I'm declining these. Cameron Berry. Overall 41 to 55. Potentially 52 to 70. Got my first name, but he doesn't look very good. Liam Blake could be something. Uh, overall, 48 to 64. Potential 64 to 86. His valuation doesn't strike me as too high either, so... 
We're going to say no, actually. We're going to try and keep it around 200k sort of valuation area, I think. And that way we know we've got a somewhat decent player. Louis Pierce, or Louis Pierce, overall of 45, 61, potential of 56, 76. Not great reports to end the months there. But if anyone wants to suggest some countries that we scout next, then you're more than welcome to while I'm uh, figuring out all the stuff in the academy. So if you've got any countries you want to see me scout, let me know. We'll go do them. David Harkin goes from a 57 to a 60 when he switches to a striker. Lovely. We'll work on him as a striker. He's only 5 foot 10, but he could be another Harry Howell, small and pacey, and a very good striker. We'll just keep an eye on him. And we'll sort out Sheehan's and Maguire's development plans here. Sheehan is a 61 rated cam. Looks to be close in some of his situations already. Would he work better anywhere else? Maybe the wing, perhaps. Again, like everybody bloody else. Five foot nine. We're gonna try. We're gonna move him to wing and see what he does. See what he's about. Scotland for what? What are we? Uh, what are we searching in Scotland, Franco? Um, physically strong goalkeeper, defending attacker. Take your pick. Scotland's what I was gonna go for as well because Scotland has given us some beauty so far. Evan Maguire. He looks like a winger as well. For crying out loud. The Winger Academy. That's what it should just be called. Yeah, but we'll start. Okay, right. Scotland. Uh, we'll send the Englishman to Scotland. Why not? What are we looking for in Scotland? Might just go uh, defender again because that seemed to have worked so far. <laughs> Midfielder. Okay. Ba ba bam. Playmaker. We'll go with Playmaker. Alright. Jordan, do you want another pick? I suppose we have to do South Africa. We have to find that Shabalala. It can be any from South Africa. And then whoever else wants to pick in the chat can pick the last one. I'm going to get a drink real quick. Alright, if we've got no suggestions, I'm going to go for my own one. I want a Swedish person in the squad. I want a Swedish talent. And I would like them to be technically gifted Sweden. Alright, so that is our next scout reports. We've got Neil Mann going to Sweden for a technically gifted. Andy from South Africa, we just want Shabalala. And Playmaker from Scotland. Next John McGinn. We could get the next John McGinn. That's a good idea. Good point. I think that's Jack Cochran at the moment, though. He's doing that job quite well. He's a good little Scottish talent. And Palacios wants the game against Bradford. So we'll give Palacios a run out. We'll give Milangu a chance as well. Now we'll save over real quick. And we'll get to the next game. But also, I'm needing to check. When, were the, when was it that we don't have the players for the things? International duty. What games are they missing? Just late in Orient. Okay. Well, we can go with that one for a game. But as, as long as Mancini can step up, that's all I'm saying. And well, we don't have an outright second place. Um, what should I call it? Goalkeeper. We need someone who can fill in that backup goalkeeper spot. We've not got that talent yet. But for now, we'll stick with Mancini and see what he's about. I kind of want to give Hansen the chance as well. You know what? We're going to... Not this game, actually. We're going to do it for that for the Papa John's trophy. Because we've got that next. Palacios. Um, we'll keep Roberts out there. Who else was it that said he wanted to go to a game? Malangu, was it? Go Malangu and Mills. And... We'll put Hanson on the bench. Why not? But today, I'm also going to give McDonald another run out. Because it's been a while since he had one. And he'll go alongside. He'll go alongside Galloway because Contreras is a little slower. And then Kosi, you know what? Of course he can have one as well. That be might be a might be a bad idea. We'll put Thingy in for the next game. There's too many players. 
and put Hansen in and see what he can do against Rotherham. But that is the team for this game against Bradford. We're just rotating it a little bit, but still strong enough to hopefully do a job here. Remember, Bradford were in League One last year, so they'd be wanting to go straight back up. We are also want to go up this year. I didn't check the table after that last game. We're going to keep it as a surprise. So, next game then. Bradford City at Victoria Park. Duncan in goal. And Kosi and Alonso as the full-backs with McDonald and Galloway as the set-back. Galloway as the captain of the side today. Malango centre-mid. Mills, Cam. Palacios off the left. Roberts off the right with Rodriguez and Saar started today. I didn't see what I liked. I didn't like what I saw too much from Harry Howell last game. So, Saar will get the start today. And, of course, Rodriguez gets the start because he scored the winner against Carlisle. So, let's get into it. Hartlepool United versus Bradford City. I also didn't check the news. I usually do that. We'll do that, in, we'll do that after this game. Score prediction. I'm going to say 2 all. Because Ghent are pretty good. Another win would be good, but Bradford City are up here with us. I think he said we were second there. I'm just not fully concentrating. I apologise. Hundred and fifty nil Hartlepool. He's a lot of shite. <laughs> wow. I'll have to get a win. But Bradford City, after their early bad form, they've come good and they're back in the playoff spot. So I'm a bit concerned about what they can offer. We've got players off the bench that are game changers though. So if we need them, we've got them. Lepohang Malangu asking for a game today. Receiving it. Hopefully he'll show out. Did score last episode to be fair. So maybe he wants to try and score again. I don't know who that bottom guy is that they've signed. Their striker, the number 13. Zvukamanja. I'm going to say Zvukamanja. I, I don't know. Or Zvukamanja. Something like that. It's a mad name. And he could be a mad talent. So we just need to keep an eye on him. No Andy Cook, interestingly enough. Probably why they went back down. Anyway. Bradford City. Coming to Victoria Park. Blood butchered that name. Oh, yeah, like, you know how to say it, mate. It's a dumb name. It's too long. I don't have that vocabulary. All right. Well, Bradford, like I said, not a great start to the season, but they've come along. We've uh, fouled long name. It's going to call him Terry. Name's Terence, isn't it? So we'll call him Terry. Offside, I believe. It's a good save again from Duncan. Just try to cut out all the options, cut out all the passing lanes. And uh, just offside, but it is the correct decision as Duncan pulls that save anyway. We're going to miss that man when he goes for his international duty, but it's only for a game. Duncan's becoming a bit. He's become one of my favourites, I'm not going to lie. Does make mistakes, but the majority of the time he's there. I've really liked him as a goalkeeper so far. Rodriguez trying to find Saar. It's blocked. And it will come to Palacios after a poor pass from Bradford now. Malangu, who asked for this game specifically, will give it to Saar. Into... Oh, my God. Saar gave it to Mills, and Mills just completely mishit that. Now, I was thinking, if you're right-footed, you'd hit that on your right foot. He hit it on his left and put it way wide. That's poor from me. Ball for Malangu, going to win that. He's hungry to get more time in the team. And a potential foul here. There is a foul. I thought he might have got the ball there for Rodriguez, to be honest. But the way I think it was the way he went for the tackle rather than if he won the ball. We'll take the free kick nonetheless. I ain't shooting it because I can't shoot free kicks. I've got a plan here. If it works, it'll be fantastic. If it doesn't, then shit. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, it worked well, but it's a good save from Lewis. I knew Mills was going to make that far run down the side into space and uh, attempted to score with him, but a good save. Corner, Hartlepool, Palacios in towards Alonso. Oh, off the line! Roberts picks it up. Ramon Alonso close to his first Hartlepool goal. Try to press Rodriguez. You've got a big Peruvian fucking striker running at you. You've moved the ball away quickly too. Could be a counter now for Bradford though. That's the only issue here. Alonso and McDonald double team in there to get the ball. And also foul the guy. <laughs> but that's okay. Galloway wins this. Galloway doesn't win this, but it's an easy save for Duncan. 0-0 at half time. I'm, I'm still saying 2 all. I'm, I'm going to stay. Second half, it's going to be goals in your game. Mills. Over to Saar. Oh, he's brought it down awfully. The control there was poor. McDonald does win that. Kind of, I think. Did he even win it, actually? I don't know. Should have won it. They did or not, it's a different matter. Nemeni and Kosi. We'll try and close this down. The only Nemeni and Kosi I want. I don't, I don't remember if his first name's Nemeni, if I'm being completely honest, but I'm just assuming. Got a good tackle. Kosi with a good interception. We can bring it away with Malanga as an option to move the ball out of danger into Rodriguez. Achoa, or not sorry, Achoa, Palacios wants to go for it here. He's cut inside and try to find Mills, but couldn't get the ball off in time. Good tackle by Alonso, close it down. And Corsi, Palacios is on. Palacios is off. I thought he was on. I thought centre-back was still playing him on. It's fucking marginal, you know. I don't even know if that's offside, to be honest. All good, though. All good. Stubbs. Knocking it to Chapman. We're going to get in the way there and head it out of way. Rodriguez. Palacios now. Inside. Goes Rodriguez. On oh, one more. To Mills! Oh, it's closed down. Tried to volley it there with Curtis Mills. Didn't come off. Roberts gets a touch but doesn't get the ball. Another tackle. But throwing will go to um, the away side here. Three players there. And I've got one player to mark them with. How am I meant to do that then? Explain. Young versus McDonald. The opposing defender. Try to impose his will and course he closed it down. We'll get it away because I don't trust this game. Palacios does have the pace but does also have two Bradford men stopping him from making that pace count. Inside. Good ball, good save Duncan. Corner to Bradford. Give me a sec, guys. Right. Corner coming in. Palacios, please. Not into the box, mate. Oh, my God. Clearance was awful there. We've done so well to get away with that. Fucking hell, right, Malangu, counter. Oh, Jesus! Malangu, mate, chill. Relax a second, mate. Uh, tried to go in for the ball, but obviously mistimed it. Went for my next attempted murder charge of the day. Plenty of them, don't worry. Towards the long name. It's going to bounce into the... My God, for a second. For a brief second, I thought he was just leaving it. Malangu. Palacios is there. Ball's out to him. Try to get it back into Malangu, but doesn't get the ball off on time. Right, maybe I shouldn't be committing my centre-back like that, but I have done now, and I'm in trouble. 
Big trouble. Huge trouble. Good save, Duncan. I'm stinking up the gaff here with my defending. We're lucky we ain't a goal down. Chapman had all the time in the world there. Tried to close it down with Galloway, but couldn't. And Duncan saw it late, but did enough to prevent it going in. Snap him in half. <laughs> Try not to. I'm trying to stay on my feet and get a goal here, but it'd been better. It'd been better so far. East ball in to uh, Rafa Player. It could still come down, and Terence nearly put it in. I thought he'd found that in the uh, back of the net there, bottom corner, but luckily we get away with it. It kind of bounced into the air and fell down to Terence. That's what I'm calling him. I'm not saying his long name because I don't want to butcher it again. I do know, is it still nil nil here? At Victoria Park. But that's what it was like in the Carlisle game. We were nil nil and then we went one nil down and ended up winning. I just don't want that again that we have to end up trying to bring it back. Rodriguez I tried to play it off. Didn't do it properly. Galloway should get there ahead of Terence. I'm able to bring it away if Nkosi get away from the man there. Which he does. Olangu. Into Palacios. Rodriguez is central. Oh, it's caught by Stubbs. Malangu, though, cuts that one out. And now it's Roberts. Oh, Malangu, you wanted the game, mate. It's a good bit of play from you, cutting out and playing it off to Ethan Roberts to make it 1-0 Hartlepool. Laborhag Malangu said, I could do this, and he's proven me right. Cracking interception. Good little playoff. Roberts calmly composed and puts it to the bottom left. It's 1 0 a few minutes before the break. Keeper should be doing a bit better, but I ain't complaining. I ain't complaining one bit. 1 0 Hartlepool. Second goal of the season only for Ethan Roberts. Not a big scorer, more of a creator, but he's a talent, and that's all I know. One nil. Out the pool now. Just before we come to half time, important goal. Mills, an important tackle. We maybe get a second here. Oh my god. Ah, oh, damn it. That counts as offside. That was a brilliant tackle from Mills. I mean, obviously, Sar had lost control of it and it was going to the goalkeeper anyway. But that counts as offside. It's a tackle, not a pass. Four minutes of added time to end the half. They're trying to build something before the break. Malangu gets involved once again. He's a fantastic little player, isn't he? Roberts gets taken down but continues to hold onto the ball. Saar, that's heavy. Can't get there with Carlos Rodriguez, unfortunately. Maybe one more chance for Bradford City. Make the move. Will be if you don't watch out. Oh, I've misread that completely with Galloway. Cracking shot, to be fair, but an even better save. I'm not complaining about the offside. I just didn't know it counted from a tackle. I thought it had to be from a pass. I know it was offside. I just thought it was going to continue because it was a tackle. Chapman to put the corner in. Ball away by Saar. Nuts should end the half. Malanga will bring it clear. I will end the half. Duncan is a talent. He'll either like he'll either have a day where he misses the easiest saves, or he'll turn to Prime Neuer. So far this episode, he's been fantastic. Top of the league, fair play, mate. I knew there was going to be four goals. Just a little bit for you. <laughs> one all between Gillingham and Newport. One all between Mansfield and Crawley. One all between Wimbledon and. Swindon, a 0-0 draw at the moment between Barrow and Morecambe, 1-0 to Doncaster over Rochdale, one all between Tranmere and Carlisle, one all between Salford and Leighton Orient, one all between Crewe and Grimsby, 1-0 to Exeter over Colchester, 1-0 to Harrogate over Sutton United and Stevenage and Forest Green playing that one-all draw as well, where at 
Victoria Park is a 1-0 lead for Hartlepool. You can maybe argue we're not even the better team, but it's the way we go. 54 to 46 in terms of possession. Eight shots to four in favour of Bradford as well. Uh, 1.5 expected goals to 1.4. We don't have any of the uh, dominant stats there, but we've made a lot of tackles. That's just me lunging all over the place, though. But Malangu, key in that first half. As for the game, and he's uh, performed very well. Only 6.1, apparently. I don't know how, but probably because of the yellow card. <laughs> but I feel like he's done good today. So he's to hey, yeah, shit with easy shots, but could pull out a worldie. Yeah, pretty much. I think he'll get better as the series goes on. I'm hoping he's the goalkeeper for four of the series, to be honest. There's a lot of these players I hope we can grow and they keep in for this whole series. Line up. Um, again, Duncan, fucking hell. How am I meant to concentrate with audio issues that I can't? Bradford try to work it here. off in time. Mm -hmm. 
Rodriguez. You know what, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. I can't. Try to stay on balance the past that. I do. Like, what? I Andy Cook as well. I wonder why my goal difference is so bad. Th this is why. This. This whole, a whole situation where I just get... Because I'll try that. Now watch. Get tackled. Love it. So I'll, I'll get Palacios in a minute. I'll try one with him. Or someone. Mills. Fuck you. will be kind of the first. Ah, I can't even get through. Yeah, this is one of those games. All the others has to go out and then they just decide to get everything. Fair play, Bradford. You've won. Hope you're happy. I think the audio's fixed itself if it's any consolation. I've, I've, I was researching it last night, and there's a Reddit thread where other people have had the same issues. So it ain't just me, which is good at least. Mills is absolutely... I thought he'd fucked that completely. It's hit the crossbar. Ah, oh, but then their goalkeeper just saves everything. Ah, oh, whatever, man. I've written this game off emotionally. I'm not trying to show up. Fuck it. But nah, realistically. <laughs> the audio issues... Uh, unfixable. 
I've also checked this Reddit thread to see if everyone else has the same issues. Some of them do, and they still can't find a solution for it either. And what has got me wondering is, how the fuck do the developers not know about this? Galway's put on a fantastic header there. That won't go in. How do the Twitch people operate Twitch? How do people operate Xbox not know how to fix it? Oh, just, you know what? This guy's turned into fucking Yashin today. Take the L here, I guess, boys. Can't win them all. I gave up when the fucking audio cut out, because I'm trying to fix audio at the same time as I'm trying to fucking play a video game. It's not really going to work, is it, ultimately? And then they just score. They sco I, I've tackled with Nkosi perfectly, and it just falls to their player who just launches it past Duncan, and then they go and score that. I'm not even... You know, I'm not even entertaining it. And then he saves that! Oh my god! This game couldn't try harder to script me out of this if it wanted to. Fucking joke of a video game. I, I like Bradford, but I just don't like this game. <laughs> All respect to you, Bradford, and congrats on winning, but it's the way that you've won. And Andy Cook belter from that far out. Yeah, right, mate. Got a chiller. Did a bit of trickery. Howell. Oh, my God. Didn't get any connection on it. Seven minutes. End the pain now. Why have we got seven minutes? I ain't scored again. Have you seen the opportunities I've had? This goalkeeper is on fucking drugs or something. He's on performance enhancing drugs, the prick. And once again, if the audio cuts out, as it probably will do later on in the episode, there is no fix for it. There's nothing I can do about it. It's just going to be something we have to go through until Twitch decides to get their fucking fingers out their arses and fix it. Or Xbox, really. Twitch or Xbox. Fuck off list. You ain't getting one as well. Good tackle and Corsi. He's had a good day. I mean, they've all had a good day. Apart from maybe some of the shooters. Defenders have been all right. Maybe slightly out of position on occasion. And Duncan's done well, it's just the two shots he couldn't save. Fucking, like, oh no, don't be a fourth. Good tackle, McDonald. That was, that fucking third goal he got is just, nah, it's just not, <laughs> it's just not allowed, surely. Rodriguez has the pace, does he have the finish? Oh, this goalkeeper. Goalkeeper's the best in the world. Best in the world. I've had enough. <laughs> On to the next, boys. At least the audio's come back. Too little too late. I need to watch that fucking screamer again because that was mad. It was good, but it was stupid as well. I bugger it. 3 1 loss. <laughs> Once the game decides what it's going to do, there's nothing really much you can do about it. Their goalkeeper, Lewis, turned into fucking Prime Yashin. And Andy Cook scores an absolute screamer from miles out. It's... You wonder why my fucking goal difference is abysmal sometimes. The goals I'm conceding are absolutely shocking. I'm not shocking in terms of my defending. Shocking in terms of how they fucking go about going in. The Paulison goal, I put in a perfect tackle... Um, but also it just fell to them and then Andy Cook blazed it from fucking 30 yards into the back of my net like what the fuck is this my defensive positioning yeah questionable just whacks that in out of nowhere of course he does I was looking up to see if I could find any solutions perhaps something in this video could help apologies if you've already seen this video or tried the stuff in it uh, I've not looked at any videos I've seen a reddit thread where people are going through like similar situations with their audio on stream. But I'll take a look at the video after the stream. And see if I can find a way around it. But that goal. That goal is when I gave up. <laughs> we have more shots than them. But their goalkeeper turned into Prime Neuer. Our goalkeeper had a good day up until the goals that just would not go in in any other situation. Apart from when they're scripted to go in. 52 to 48 in terms of possession. 90 shots to 13. And 4.5 expected goals to 4.3. Maybe a lively three-all draw or something like that. But no, their goalkeeper decided to be the uh, next coming in Neuer. Oh, silly game. I'm blaming the audio on that one. Well, easy blame game there. 
Roberts was our star man. No one did anything, to be honest, today, besides the defence. Uh, a goal from him in an 8.5. Duncan did well, uh, despite conceding an absolute screamer. 11 shots, 8 saves, 3 conceded. Um, Carlos Rodriguez, 7.3. McDonald, 7.3. The defence was all right. I just... I'm going to be honest, I don't know what went wrong. I don't know what the issue was. I mean, their goalkeeper turning into Prime Neuer didn't help. 12 shots in his goal, 11 saves. He was all over the place, just saving my opportunities when I tried to get back into the game. Oh, I can see one. Stubbs with an 8 rating as well. He had a good defensive day out, I suppose. Andy Cook come off the bench. I was talking shit about him. He comes off the bench and bags a screamer. Fuck's sake. Terrence has got a goal as well on a 7.7. .7. Logan Matthew, he's a regen. 7.7 .7 from him. We'll keep an eye on him. Assist at a 7.4 for Chapman. Paulison with a goal at 7.2. And Elliot List with the other assist at 6.6. .6. My fucking days. That goal. That goal was so stupid. I just need to. I just need to drink it in one more time. Cause as good as it was, it it doesn't happen in any other situation. So stupid how I'm just conceding that in it's League Two, boys. It's not fucking. Oh my god! What's up, Joel? And welcome back, mate. I've just gone through a lot of pain and suffering. Audio issues always distract you, but you lose. I swear. Yeah, it's cause I'm trying to find a way to fix them. Um, at the same time, even though I know I can't fix them, I'm just trying to find a way around them. And as I'm doing that, I'm not paying full attention. Like I said, I'm not sure if there's any help, but I figured it wouldn't hurt to at least check it out. Yeah, I'll give it a look after the stream. I've got the link copied and pasted, so I'll look at it after. Tough game for you, a disappointing result. I mean, we can't win every week, but... If they're just popping screamers from yards out, I can't do anything about it, can I really? Bloody joke this game sometimes. We should have got back into it, but their goalkeeper is also very good. Can't win every game though, unfortunately, boys. And when the when the game goes against you. The game goes against you. You just have to, you just have to go along with it. <laughs> Stubbs done well to close down that left hand side. To be fair, a lot of the game, Palacios and the Cho when he came on could really do much. Fucking Christ Almighty! <laughs> that Andy Cook goal was beautiful but annoying. <laughs> All right, well, I mean, take a look at the player of the month shortlist then. We had Stevenson for Forest Green. We had the Chower in there as a nominee for Hartlepool. Miller for Doncaster and Patrick for Carlisle United. And in the end, it was Miller of Doncaster who got that award. But just so you know, we had a nominee. Fran Ochoa was that nominee. So fair play to him. Um, Crucial Cook goal seals Hartlepool defeat. Crucial's, uh, Cook's crucial last goal helped his team seal a win against Shabalala's men. Palacios impresses again. I don't know how well he really did, but okay. We'll let him have his moment. Palacios is one player very happy with his excellent run of form at the moment. I'm playing real well right now. I'm really enjoying my football at Hartlepool, he told the assembled media after the game against Bradford. It certainly seems the left winger will be on the team sheet for the foreseeable future if he can keep turning in this low or turn his level of performance. The sun's coming in from the outside from the window. I can't read everything. It's bright. Harry Howell to, uh, still top scorer, seven in nine appearances. A bit slower today, but um Hopefully they'll pick you up as we go. And top players deliver with top performances. It's exactly what Harry Howell's been doing lately. Turning it on game after game and proving himself to be one of the standout performers at Hartlepool. Not too shabby, I suppose. I don't know where that puts us in the table. We're in the Papa John's Trophy next against Rotherham. Uh, I'm not really arsed whether we're going to lose this, so I'll probably do a rotate team, but League 2... We are currently in third, still in that promotion spot. But um, Forest Green have taken top spot, next to in second. Now, Bradford level on points with us. Um, Bradford, Morecambe, Doncaster and Tramier in the playoffs. But it's so bloody close. It's a bottleneck at the top of this league. Until you get down to, like, Crawley.
Fred to Hartlepool, here we go. No. I wonder what he's doing. I wonder if he's still at Man United, actually. He's at Athletic Bilbao. Don't they only sign Basque players, no? So even Man United have sold him in a game, so don't at me for selling him in career modes. Malcolm K is going to complete his move to Hermestat in January. That's fine by me. Plus, this is happy to play. And Hansen wants a go, which is fine. He'll get his go against Rotherham. Upgraded bot from Man United. For your United fan, mate. What's going on? Here goes the loan deal going through. Bloody hell, that was an annoying game we just played. But we'll move on and hopefully play better in this. Well, the Rotherham game I'm not really fussed about, but the uh, other League 2 games today. And Ander yeah, Smith goes through as well to Al Nasser. He will go and play with Ronaldo if he's still there. Smith loan's gone through. A Baldwin loan offer. One we would like to see go through as well. He goes to Karl Mar on a loan deal. So save over. Man United fan by chance. Fred has my heart. Okay, All right. Fair enough then. Understandable. Right, why are we doing a press conference for the Papa John's trophy? I could care less. against the team in League One as well, so I'm not really excited about that. Not confident. There's plenty of time to recover from that defeat. It was a three-all draw. We drew our first game. How's that? We didn't lose. Apparently we lost in a three-all draw. Okay, mate. We're going to focus on the performance. Smile. What's the best career mode? Is it to win the Champions League? Eventually, yes, it's to win the Champions League. But basically, what I'm doing is I'm building a team full of youth players, academy players, regens, no real players. I'm trying to take a completely new team up to the top. And I did a poll on which team it was going to be. Hartlepool won the vote. And uh, that's where we're at. It's an idea I've wanted to try on a stream before, but I've never done it on stream. But this time I have, and we're going to stick to it, hopefully. Unless this game makes me want to tear my hair out, which could be a possibility. Did we get anyone on the team of the week? No, Sam Stubbs got in for Bradford, though. Hot pool focused and ready, knowing three points. Against Rotherham United will secure their passage into the next round. Hartlepool are on the verge of something very special in the Papa John's Trophy. Nobody imagined they'd successfully battle through the Papa John's Trophy group stage after the draw was made, but a win today against Rotherham United will silence every one of the doubters. I can't really hope we lose, honestly. So I could sign three players that aren't real or only youth. I can sign, I could, I got players in my youth academy, but I can also sign regens, which are basically players that are created by the game that aren't real. So say if I go here, and I go here and search for free agents, I could sign any of these like players that aren't real, like all these uh, youth, like these generated faces are the players I can use. 
So say if you said, can you sign Mbappe or something, for example. Just as, just as an example. I wouldn't be able to because he's a real player. I can only sign players that are generated from the game. So if we say, all right, let's shortlist Mbappe, we can't do that. It's not allowed. So yeah, anyone who is created by the game or comes from a youth academy. It's a lot of uh, a lot of work, but hopefully we make a whole new bunch of players. It will be historic in FIFA. Hopefully some of these come from this crop as well. And from the team we've got. I know one person is going to be here to the end already. And that is our number nine most likely. Because uh, he's got that potential to be special. From there I don't know yet who else. Guys, right, so let's switch up the team for the Papa John's trophy. We'll even give Mancini a go because I just do not care about his competition. Could be a full rotated 11. Hansen can have a go. And you know what, we'll give Kay a chance as well. Parsons doesn't have much chance. Malangu can come in again because he does enjoy the football. And he plays good when he's on. Give Nezovic another run out. Munoz comes out for Martinez. And who's the other one? Smith can have a game as well. So I'm just fully rotating this side. Bernard and Arango will start this one. Because I want Arango to succeed. He definitely has a start. That's the team we're going with. It's a bit mishmash. I don't even know who the captain should be. But it's giving it to Kay. We're going to give it to Nezovic because he's the fir only first team player that's in this rotated lineup. Oh, I've done this on the main menu. I'll have to fix it next time. Right, well, up next then at the Papa John's Trophy at Victoria Park is Hartlepool United versus Rotherham United. We've got Mancini in goal, Patterson and McGregor as the fullbacks, Kay and Hansen as the centre backs, Malango centre mid with Nezovic, Cam and Captain. Um, Smith off the left, Martinez off the right with Bernard and Arango leading the line. I could just make a second squad so I don't have to change the whole team every time. I know I should do that. <laughs> I will do that after this game actually, if you remind me. Because I do, I do switch. I don't always switch the squad though, that's the thing. I only usually just switch a couple of players. But I will do that because it would be so much easier. Alright, so next up, next even, English difficult. Victoria Park hosts Hartlepool versus Dwarverham. Let's get into it. Next game we'll have Mancini as well because Duncan's away on international duty. I don't know why they're making this such a big deal. It's a Papa John's trophy. I couldn't care less. But we'll go for it, why not? Whoever wins this basically goes through, is what the whole shebang is. It's only cup you have a slim chance of winning. I know, but I just I don't give a fuck. I'll still try, but this gives the younger players a chance. I say the younger players, they're all young players. The second string players. I don't know what Rotherham they're gonna line up with. Once we're near the top of League One, then I'll care about this and we can take it with us up to the championship, but for now, I'm not really too fast. Also, if you're wondering about the formation, um, there's a YouTuber that I watched that kind of pioneered this series, kind of pioneered this idea, 
and their go-to formation is a 4-2-4, which is why I'm doing it as well, because it's kind of like a, I don't know, it's kind of like a rule, but also not a rule, but it's just fun to do. An early foul, probably not the right idea. Right, I, I have no idea how much I'm going to get smashed by here, but I know I'm going to get smashed. I think most of this team are the Rotherham first side. So. Good grab by Mancini. Like, yep, here we go again. Smith. Up the pitch now. Can Smith make a run, please? That pace. I am the Smith. Inside. Hi. Okay. Nezovic. Martinez. I am offside, unfortunately. And the audio is offside as well, apparently. It might fix it. Sometimes it fixes itself within seconds, and sometimes it takes ages. So hopefully it fixes itself quickly. I apologise for the audio. There's no, no way around it that we know of yet. We Xboxers. Yeah, Joel, sometimes it cuts out like this. There's an issue somewhere along the line. I'm not sure what it is, and... There's no real way of fixing it, unfortunately. So it's kind of, it kind of just cuts out every now and then. I kind of just have to go along with it, which is annoying. But there's no way to fix it, unfortunately. Good save, Mancini. If there was a known fix for it, and I'll, I'll keep looking to try and find a way around it. Um, I would have done it ages ago. It's been like this for about a week or two, so. There's going to be something, there'll be some little glitch in the system somewhere that nobody's figured out. What's up, Vixen? Welcome to the stream. Ball in. Saved by Mancini again. He's getting a bit of a showcase, if nothing else. And he's going to have to show it again against Leighton Orient because our other goalkeeper is away on international duty. Alangu, poor pass. It was aimed for Nezovic to go through on two, but it didn't work. The reason I put Nezovic in as well, along with these other players, is because I do want to try a little bit. Okay, we're fighting at the corner flag here. That's a throw-in? McGregor's got a corner flag in him. A little battle there at the corner flag anyway. Keep the competitiveness alive. Nezovic into Rango, who I want him to go on loan again because he has got the most potential in the squad by a country mile. Except for maybe Rodriguez. But he's uh, got fantastic potential. And if you see a few seasons down the line, a uh, strike partnership of Arango and Rodriguez, don't be surprised. Ayanda Smith now into Bernard. Now, I wanted that to go to Malangu. And that's fucked up my entire plan because it's in fact not gone to the player I intended. into the hands of Mancini. So yeah, the audio issues are kind of persistent, but at least I know it's not on my end. At least I know it's a, a thing. It's, it's out of my control, unfortunately, but at least it's not any of my software, etc. I'm streaming directly from my Xbox, which is probably a reason why it's kind of affected me. That would have been a fantastic finish had it gone in. I don't, I don't think we need a goal decision system for this one. I think we're 95% sure that that hasn't crossed the line, but just in case you're wondering. I do like the goal line technology stuff, but when it's for stupid shit like that. <laughs> Not really a lot of need for it. Nezovic to Martinez. Nezovic is asking for it back, and he's going to get it as well. 
Oh my god. I thought I got deflected, but honestly, it was just a terrible shot. But yeah, apologies for the audio. It will cut out a couple of times each episode. And it's out with my control. It does fix itself eventually. It's very annoying. But I've always had all the issues throughout the whole time I've been streaming, whether it's been my own end or whether it's not been my own end. So it's kind of just second nature at this point, which it shouldn't really be. Ayanda Smith turns inside. Oh, nearly the little, little South African has got... He's got talent, this kid. The keeper could just look at the ball flying really wide there. Diving for it as it goes to the corner flag. <laughs> Malangu bringing it in towards Nezevic. Away by Rotherham. Either this isn't their first team or they're just a really bad team because they've not played too well today yet. Again, Mancini's been good. Hansen. Was a foul. But a smart foul as well. Gives the rest of the team time to get back. And no card as well. Seemed better. Hansen seems like he knows the game already. It's his first game of professional football. I'm just hoping his potential will come good. We've got plenty of centre-backs. And plenty of very good centre-backs as well. It's going to have to be a matter of cutting some from the team, I think, soon. And I might have to make the difficult decision of selling Shane McDonald. Which I don't want to do. But I may have to. Smith. Through to Malangu. He's got time. He's got space. He does have support as well. Towards Nezevic. Is it on? It's on. 1-0 Hartlepool. Savka Nezevic opens the scoring. I thought I played that late. I'm going to be honest with you. I thought I'd fucked it. <laughs> but a great ball in from Lebohang Malangu who just has that ability to make a well make a chance for anybody and Nezovic perfectly times his run and it's 1-0 Hartlepool in the Papa John's trophy I was waiting for the offside flag but then it never came so I was like I Nezovic strikes here in the Papa John's trophy 1-0 Hartlepool good little header from a player who's probably too good for us quite frankly maybe sell him on if we have to give me two immediately with a rango good save Johansson we got the ball back immediately from kickoff and Jay Morango on his weak foot still put a good effort on goal it was curling We look better than Rotherham do at the moment. Ayanda Smith to cross it into Oli McGregor. Oh, good save again. And it won't go for a corner. It's kept in by Trezor. But McGregor nearly finding his first goal in Hartlepool Cars as well. It's intercepted by Hansen, who's had a good day so far. I think Arango there with the ball got taken down. Ball towards Isnaldo. McGregor cuts it out. I do like this defence. I do like the fact that we have a backup defence. It's still very good. Mariano Martinez, he's another one I need to keep working with because he's got good potential. It's just we've got too many wingers. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, okay. Come here, the centre back back's done. Mancini grabs and Kelly ends up in the back of the net. Scores himself, but not the ball. Ayanda Smith now, he's had a fun little half. He's quite cool to use. His pace really makes him fun to use. There's a lot of these players I would like to use more, but I simply can't. Oh, McGregor, what a... Can we replay that? What a fucking tackle. Goal-saving tackle from Ollie McGregor. Look at this. Probably a goal, but Oliver McGregor puts his body on the line. What a tackle. And it is a goalkeeper's hold now. Mancini will get it away to Smith. That tackle, I know it's only Papa John's, but that tackle was incredible. Well timed and everything. Bernard, can we find Arango? No, we can't. <laughs> Poor cross and it'll be half time. 
But a goal from Saskanezovic and a very good tackle. Makes it 1-0 at the break to Hartlepool. That Ollie McGregor tackle there might be as important as possibly winning the game. One nil at the break then at Victoria Park. Oh, Mancini's had a good day as well, to be fair. One all between Bolton and Salford. One nil to Crew over MK Dons. One nil to Birmingham. I didn't realise they got relegated to League One, uh, but they did. Over Sutton. One nil to Burton over Charlton. One all between Cheltenham and Newport. One all between Wigan and Bradford, and then one nil to Stoke over Barrow. Stoke and Arty, I didn't realise, were in League One. Looking at the match facts, then 55 to 45 in terms of possession, six shots to five, and 1.66 expected goes to 1.4. It's a close game, but we've had the edge in it. And I will absolutely take that. Ollie McGregor as well with a clean, beautiful tackle to prevent a definite goal. The thing is, we've got Ramon Alonso, who I fucking love already, coming to the team and feel like a glove. But if he hadn't worked out, we've got McGregor, who is fantastic in his own right. That's a stupid tackle. That should be a yellow card. It's not even going to be that, apparently. It's now looking enough for Saito. As Rotherham looked to find a way back in here. Okay, Nezovic. Fuck it. Okay, that's, yeah, probably not the move. Foul against us somewhere along the line, but we've cut it out and won it back. Patterson to Malanga. Arango. The players on him. They're going to be sitting back now to prevent us getting a second. Malanga. Into Ayanda Smith. Nezovic. Through the bar, oh, through the gap, I was going to say, I nearly said it wrong. Through the gap to Bernard, but just didn't have the connection on the shot. That was such a good ball through as well. Just couldn't find the finish with Axel Bernard. Okay, closes it down and bring it away again. Harrison. Oh, that was good. That was good. Malangu. And the thing is, Patterson's third choice uh, left back, and that's how good he is. This team has something special about it, I'll tell you that much. Ayanda Smith wins the ball back, cuts into the penalty area. We'll play it off to Arango. Oh, good save, Johansson. It wasn't meant to go that far back, but the run in there from our left mid, Smith, who has been lively all day, cut Rotherham open. Kelly comes off now, I think it was Huggle that came on. Or Hugel, I don't know how you pronounce it. Smith. Now going to blast the ball in for McGregor. Off target. Pressure was on. He couldn't get the ball towards the target. Still 1-0, though. We're still in the lead. I know I said I didn't care about it, but I'm happy to be winning. I'm happy to just win any game. But uh, we do lead here in the Papa John's Trophy. Johansson knocks it out of the pitch. Malangu will intercept. Malangu's under fucking rated, man. I need to be using him more. He's so fun to use. He's good at intercepting. He's good at passing. Anything else is probably not his forte, but those things he's good at. Ayanda Smith has a bit more trouble there, but losing the ball. Hansen, he's not done much, but he's not done much wrong, to be fair, either. Nearly played it out for a corner, but we ignore that because Mancini did get it. And I think Hansen is another left-footed centre-back, so we need to move him across the defence. Mariano Martinez. So far down the left, we haven't seen much of him on the right today. Good tackle, and Rotherham will bring it clear again. But I like the fact that even our backups are good. That makes me happy. McGregor tries to go for a tackle, doesn't win it that time, but Hansen will cover... And the big man will bring it away in his first ever game of football. You wouldn't bloody know it, the way he's composed. Martinez, pass gets blocked. McGregor's still going, and the pass will go through a second time. McGregor into Arango. It's a uh, bit of a trouble. Miscommunication there between Arango and Nezovic. Malango can't turn and pass. 
You watch out because Rotherham break down our defence here. They are league on side. We've got to remember that, ultimately. Ball in. And, and I don't know how that snuck in, but it is one all. Hope the audio issues aren't too awful for the rest of the episode. Unfortunately, I have to run. Sorry for being so unavailable recently. Moving and I'm so busy. We'll be like for a month or so, potentially. We'll pop in whenever I can and have a wonderful afternoon, mate. Much love. No worries, man. If you're busy, you can't always be here, but that's, that's absolutely fine. Um, but I hope you enjoy the rest of your day as well, my friend. And good luck with your move. I don't know how that's found the back of the net, but Rathbone has equalised here now for Rotherham. Ayanda Smith going to try and find a run for here. Gets taken off the ball by Harding. I think we're going to make a couple of changes just to see if we can get this over the line. With Harry Howell being the first one. Swap him and Arango about. And then Palacios. Actually, no, not Palacios. I like the... I like how the team's been off the wings. We'll go with Mills for Nezovic. I do need Nezovic in that uh, game against Lytton Orient, potentially. With a lot of space here, boys. Caught by Mancini. Arango. Martinez is asking for it. Martinez has got a lot of room to manoeuvre into here. But he's going to need some support. It falls to Arango! 2-1 Hartlepool! I don't know if that ball would make it through, but the Argentinian wonder kid, Jay Marango, makes it 2-1. Martinez doing all the work there, getting through the little gaps and knocking it off to Jay Marango. Bernard got out of the way as well. Good dummy from Bernard, and it's a brilliant finish from Jamie Rango off the weak foot as well. 2-1, Hartlepool United. Victoria Park going into Raptures now and with the big names coming on, Harry Howell and Curtis Mills, just to see if we can wrap this up. I'm confident, boys, I'm confident. There may be still another goal in this somewhere for either us or for the away side here, but I'm hoping it'll go in our favour. McGregor has been solid all day. Saito uh, try to keep on him. Eventually we pass it around. The Japanese winger, we get it away. Mills out to Martinez. Howell making that run through. Harry Howell. Oh, good save, Johansson. You bet your house on Harry Howell putting that in the back of the net. But uh, unfortunately not. Lebohang Malangu on the corner, try to get Victoria Park pumped here to try and push us to this three points. Ayanda Smith. It wasn't Lebohang Malango at all, I apologise. One's 29 and one's 39. It's easy confusion. <laughs> and now a uh, counter-attack on the, the cards of Rotherham. Try to stop it any way we can. Brute force or even whatever. Whatever force we need to use. He also ball in. It's going to deflect. Oh, that could have gone wrong. It deflected off of Mancini, and it's going to be a corner. And there's the goal that could potentially win it for us. Jay Marango making it 2-1, Hartlepool. Eight minutes remain here at Victoria Park. Ball in. Will be handled by Malangu. Just enough, I think. Is it a Saito header or a Malangu header here? It's come off Malangu for another corner. Header again. It's going to fall about in the box. It's away by Mills. Not fully away, though. As well, have the possession back. Arango closes it down. But tackle wins the ball back for Rotherham. McGregor cuts it out and we'll get it away. And it's just a matter of continuing to run down these minutes. Martinez, Howell's asking for it, trying to get it through to the Welshman, but maybe a second too late, or maybe just not a good enough pass slash run. It could have gone either way, really. Good exception, however, from Rotherham, and they will go again. They will rally here, which is a pain in the arse, but they will do that. Hansen closes it down. He's had a cracking debut, composed at the back, and you'll see a lot more of him in this career mode. I'll tell you that firsthand. The Bohang Malangu into Harry Howell. 
running through is a wrangle. It's gone the wrong side. I think a wrangle was a bit offside anyway. Goalkeeper grabs Patterson. Can't get the ball. It's now Treza for Rotherham with room and four minutes to go. Kay closes it down. Get it away anyway we can, boys. Smith, Malangu, Arango now dropping back. Now Malangu. Try to find Howell. He's getting gripped off there by some Rotherham players. Ball in. Now Saito for Rotherham. They're pushing now up the pitch. Probably a last chance saloon for the Millers. Blocked by K. The rebound, of course. I'm going to actually throw this game. When FIFA 24 comes out, I'm throwing this game off a cliff. Genuinely. What the fuck am I meant to do? That is infuriating. We've done so well. And they're going to take a point out of this. Can feel that coming. It's so rigged. Yeah, and nah, that's It's ridiculous. And that'll be the end of the game as well. Fucking bollocks, man. Oh, we've done so well. The Wonder Kids did so well today. I mean, they're all Wonder Kids, but... The second string players did so well today. It shouldn't have been a draw. And... Um, it really depends on the last result now of the Papa John's Trophy, which we will not be involved in. It'll be Rotherham and Grimsby in the last game. We still might go through, but I, I, I'm pissed off. That's so stupid, the way that's gone in. That shouldn't go in at all. I mean, neither of the goals should have gone in, but Mancini otherwise had a good day. Slightly annoying, but this is the way the stats read at the end. 54-46 in terms of possession, 12 shots to 10, and 3.1 expected goals to 2.3. We have more passes, way more tackles, but we were lunging a lot. Um, I don't really care about tackles as long as I'm winning the ball when I'm meant to, which I didn't there, which is kind of annoying. I'm not blaming that on Malcolm K at all because it wasn't his fault. Goal and an 8 from Nezovic means that he was our man of the match today. Ayanda Smith was fantastic, electric off that left side. Just try to find any opportunity to make a chance. So fair play to him. Jay Morango getting what I thought was going to be the winner. It wasn't. 7.6. McGregor, fantastic right back uh, game today. Uh, Malango in assist from midfield, 7.4. Mancini with a 7.3. Six shots on his goal, four saves, two conceded, unfortunately. And uh, in the end, another assist from Martinez gets him a seven. But I feel really hard done by today, to be honest. I think the defenders deserve better ratings than what they got. As for them, Hoggle getting a late equaliser and saving them in this competition potentially. A goal and an assist and an eight rating for, uh, I think he used to play for West Ham, the former West Ham man. Rathbone with their goal and an eight rating. And realistically, their ratings are higher than ours. They're a high league one lower championship team. So it should have been a lot more difficult today, but it wasn't. And I'm happy about it, but uh, we'll take that. There was no other assist because they just got lucky with the second goal. Johansson had a good day in goal as well. Kept us out. Ten shots on his goal. Eight saves, two conceded. It's a bit unlucky, but we still may go through the Papa John's Trophy. It honestly depends on what happens in the last game. I'm going to the post-match interview anyway. Wigan battered Bradford. Jesus Christ. I also feel like this in my own playthroughs. Yeah, it's a shitty feeling. It's so silly with this game. It just You know when something's going to happen. And you can't prevent it, whatever you do. Because I literally had the defender there. And the game's like, yeah, well, we'll give him the goal anyway. Believe in our young players. All of them are young players. I think the oldest we have is 20. And that's uh, John Paul Sarr. I thought you were going to find the equaliser. I mean, we had the equaliser. They found the equaliser late. Unless I read that wrong. One defensive error can be expensive. But that was so stupid. I don't, I'm not blaming K at all. Because I was fully at fault of the video game. Mancini could have done better to save both the goals, but I'm not gonna... The Wonder Kids there did great. Um, 
I'm just annoyed we didn't get three, to be honest. Against a team better than us. That would have been sick. I am frustrated, but it's the way it goes sometimes in football. You just have to keep going and move on. Boss, I've got to be honest, I was worried that you were thinking about replacing me and you face the club stories in the papers. I suppose I just felt a bit insecure. Thanks for straightening things out. No, you're literally a... You're a starter, mate. I thought my time was up here, boss, but you gave me a chance. I'm glad I was able to show you what I can do. Your time is... You're going to be here for a long time, good fella, because you are a very high potential player. And there's a reason I'm loading you out to... Um, where is he going? Cluj. Because he can get a lot, lot better. And I love this kid. And he's going to get better. Pace is fine. Shooting we can work on. He is going to be one of the best in this club. In my opinion, anyway. He feels very fun to use. And this is a loan deal going through. I think it's for the man we were just talking to. Jim Arango. Going to be good to close till the end of the season. Listen, a goodbye, mate. It's just to see you later. Still got him till January as well, and we'll still use him um, in and out of games as well. Brandon Steele's permanent deal will also go through to Sarpsborg. So in January, Brandon Steele will no longer be a Hartlepool player. Another one to add to the where are they now once we do that towards the end of the series. I have to scour through the episodes and make sure I've got every name down that we can scout back and see where they've gone. Brandon Steele, 500k. And Jim Arango loan has gone through as well. Up next then, in the league, it is late in Orient, but we're going to be without three big names, which is going to be a bit difficult. One of them being our goalkeeper. And we used him in the Papa John's trophy. He had a decent day out, but it's a whole different kettle of fish in the league. Even though late in Orient have had a stinky season so far, that could all change. Late Huggle equaliser denies Hartlepool. Hartlepool United denied by Huggle, who's dramatically equaliser. So Rotherham United snatch a two-all draw. Um, Hartlepool take on Leighton Orient. We know that. It's the same story every time. And as we know, Miller got the uh, Player Month Award. We had Ochoa as a nominee. Ronnie Hansen makes senior debut. He's only just graduated from the youth team in senior football, but Ronnie Hansen put his first performance today. He's young and full of potential. We've not seen much of him in the first team action. We could soon expect to see a lot more. And don't count me out, roars Moffat. After reassurances from his manager, Shabalala, Moffat has spoken to the press today about how a weight has been lifted from his shoulders. Recent, day, uh, recent doubts surrounding Moffat's future followed the signing of Nezovic, who was brought in to add competition for the right-back position. Recent performances have seen the new side take a grip on a starting place, but today Moffat came out and told fans, don't count me out yet. I'm going to stay and fight for a place in the team. I mean, none of that article is true. Because first of all, Moffat's a left-back now. Second of all, Nezovic was going to be the left-back, but he can't play there. Moffat would have always started, and we wouldn't have had to get Alonso in. And yeah, just Moffat was never in trouble, I guess. Now I just need to switch all this squad back. You know what? How is it you do it? It's not team. It's team sheets, isn't it? New team sheet. Let's call it four to four. I put all the starters in there. Although Duncan, what we play in Mancini will. Moffat is in. Galloway is in. We need to put a strong defense up. For this game, because I don't know if I trust Mancini in the league. No Harry Howell, which means it'll be Saren Rodriguez. With Ochoa starting as well. Ahead of Smith. Number one. The number one names will be back in for this one, is the point I'm trying to make. The main guys. And Alonso. Of course, Mills, Duncan, and Harry Howell away on international duty. So Arangel will get a bench spot. Duncan will lose his spot to, I don't know, Malangu. Malangu's been good. And then Mills for Minos. But do we need two right wingers now? Put McDonald on the bench. 
Sweet. That's how we go for the game against Leighton Orient. I've got two team sheets. It's, it's kind of confusing. The Hartlepool default is the backup team, and this is the main one. But I'll figure it out off screen. I'll switch it around. I'll do it all off screen. But this is going to be a team we use against um, Leighton Orient. Nezovic is in, but Malanga's there as an option as well. If we need a change, which we probably will. Nezovic is quite tired. And Joaquin Contreras as the captain for today. So that is the team we're going to go with against Leighton Orient. Mancini in goal, Moffat and Alonso as the full-backs, Contreras and Galloway as the centre-backs, with Contreras captain in the side. Cochrane centre-mid, Nezovic, Cam, Ochoa off the left, Roberts off the right, with Saar and Rodriguez leading the line. It is Leighton Orient versus Hartlepool. I don't remember their stadium name, but I do know the side men did stuff. I, I just can't remember what it's called. So League 2 winners in real life. Will host us today. Let's see what we can do. They're 18th in game. I should know the Leighton Orient Stadium name, but my brain forgets. Brisbane Road. So one. A game four of five today. Been an action packed episode of where the loss and the draw thus far. Right, win please. But also we've got Mancini in the goal for the first time in the league and I'm not confident. But I think with the uh, team we've got in front of him, I think he'll be alright. Maybe I'm just worrying. Love enough him. But Moffat, Contreras, Galloway and Alonso. Four defenders I'll put my life on the line for and they probably save me. Right, let's see what we can do. A win would be fantastic, but a point at the very least has got to be the goal here. I'm obviously going to aim for the win. But point wouldn't be uh, entirely out of order, because Leighton Orient, despite being 18th in the league, are a good side, and they've got good players. Just had a bad start. Oh, that's not the pass I've aimed it for. Ah, oh, bollocks. Good tackle Galloway. Oh, yeah. Okay, just give it back to them. Thank you, video game. Get away with Galloway to Cochrane. Early scare there. Saar. Out to Ochoa. So Rodriguez asking for it. Tried to find him, but it's closed down. Ochoa gets a foot in, but it'll be a late and orient throw. Ochoa intercepts. Nice, Fran. He loves his fucking life now after that loan deal. Gonna bounce to maybe Sar. No, it's gonna bounce to them. So if it comes off them, it bounces to them. If it comes off me, it bounces to them. I don't know how that's fair. Cocker will pick up a loose ball there and play it back to Mancini and we'll go from the back. Alonso. Out to Roberts. Nezovic. Back out to Ethan Roberts now. Ball in towards Sar. Not enough on the header to trouble Burn too much. Top scorers in the league that we are. Try to find an early lead. Cochran. Nachawa. Rodriguez. Oh, that wasn't bad. Wasn't bad, but it was a good save. Got the ball under his control quite well there. And forced a good save from Burn. Corner now is Achoa. We'll try to find a big man. Galloway is not the biggest man in there, but he is a biggish man. Roberts 
It's thudded against the Leighton Orient players and another corner. It will be the Welshman to take the corner this time off the right-hand side of play. The ball will come in from Ethan Roberts towards John Paul Saar. It's away. I don't know which of my defenders is getting to that. It's switching between both of them uh, involuntarily. I'm not picking to do that. Somehow we, some, somehow we haven't won the ball there. Drew him now for Orient. The ball back. Blows down by Moffat. I don't understand why... Oh, God. Chairs closed that ball down. It was coming into the box as well. The defenders there, and I didn't get the ball from either of them. Going. Very close. Seems to fix itself quite quickly there, that audio glitch. Not too shabby. I can tell when he's going to do it because I'm looking at my stream making sure everything's running smoothly and then the stream starts to lag a bit and my audio cuts out and then it'll either fix it straight away, that's an awful run by Ochoa, it'll either fix it straight away, I'll have to pause and re refresh the stream and it'll either fix it straight away or it'll take ages to fix. But I can't fix it, it kind of fixes itself over time, it's weird. I wonder how many audio, I wonder how many career mode episodes I've done and how many of them have audio issues and it's a good... 75 to 25 ratio of here of audio issues, I think. Contreras does enough to get it away. I wasn't planning on using Nezovic today, but I remembered Curtis Mills is one of the men who is on international duty. Well, that's a lie. I was planning on using Nezovic, just not for the whole 90. Good block by Moffat. Oh, let me... Oh, let me clear the ball! When I'm pressing to clear the ball, can I clear the ball? It's not rocket science. If I'm pressing B or X just to get it away, let me do it. Just let me do it. Why is he fucking taking seven touches? Oh, fuck this game entirely. I just want to clear the ball. I'm just not allowed. And I'm, I'm going to go back and look at this. Because I'm wondering why I'm not allowed. The ball comes in. VAR this. Moffat controls it. And that second touch there is when I cleared it. I suppose maybe it was off balance. Didn't really have a chance to do it. Do I always play the stream off my Xbox? Yeah, I do. I don't have any real kind of proper... Um software or recording equipment I just stream off of Xbox and upload it as a VOD I don't like I don't have editing stuff I don't have recording stuff I kind of just do it off my Xbox if I ever got like bigger as a streamer I'd probably buy stuff but at the moment it's not really worth Rodriguez tries an effort but it's saved so at the moment I'm just chilled on my Xbox streaming off of that but it's a series x there's a no uh, it was with the xbox one it seemed to be fine but i think there's a glitch with the series x or something from what i've seen on uh, reddit threads alonso was for rodriguez but we don't need to worry about that limit to the wrong player rodriguez to cochran dances through but the shot gets blocked close down by moffat sar wasn't meant for Roberts, but could still work out. Ball across. In. Oh, not in. Cochrane. Achawa loses out. Couldn't really get the control of that. Contreras. Oh, that's a foul against me because I didn't do a foul. Moffat to Cochrane. Through to Rodriguez. They're very defensive. We'll try and get it to Saar, who I think he's on. 
Oh, but it's grabbed by Byron. He's offside anyway. I'm on PC. I didn't even know there was a possibility to, uh, to stream directly from Xbox. It's quite easy. It used to be difficult to access. You had to open up Twitch and do it that way. But on Xbox Series X, there's an option just to sc uh, scroll across and it'll automatically do it to Twitch. And you can export it from Twitch to YouTube, which is how I upload them all. But yeah, it's simpler and easier, but sometimes you get technical glitches like the audio stuff that's kind of coming into effect that I can't do anything about. Sometimes it doesn't always come out like clean, like it would with a capture card or off a PC maybe. Oh, I've just passed, I have passed that to Ochoa because he's open and it's gone to Sar because he's not open. This game is fucking dog shit. Good tackle, Galloway. I'm going to scream at this game next time it just goes for a wrong pass or does something that I've not inputted into the game. Ochoa tries to go through but gets closed down. Yeah, have that, you fucking knob. Oh, ref, you didn't see anything. That was them that they got away with it. Sar. I was hoping the chill would get that instead, but it works. It doesn't work. They're just closing everything down. This is... If they're late in Orient and they're 18th, why are they playing so good? Granted, their goal was stupid, but beyond that, they've been playing all right. Blocked by Galloway. It'll be a corner to late in Orient. And when I say a corner, what I mean is a goal kick. How is it not a corner? <laughs> Did it come off them last? I feel like I deflected that. I did deflect it. Hold on. Oh, I deflected back of the foot. Okay, that's really smart defending then. Not that I meant to do it. I get one more chance out the half here if we go quick. Nezovic has 93 pace. He knows to go quick. Into Saar. No, you bollock. One nil down at the break, but it's a bit silly because I've just tried to clear the ball. The game said no, and that's how they've got the goal. Stinky fucking game. Well, one nil down at the break. It's the way she goes sometimes. One all between Steven Inch and Gillingham. One nil to Sutton over Forest Green. One nil to Exeter over Harrogate. One nil to Colchester over Crewe. One nil to Grimsby over Salford. Nil nil between Bradford and Tranmere. Nil nil between Carlisle and Rochdale. Nil nil between Doncaster and Barrow. 1-0 to Wimbledon over Morecambe, 1-0 to Swindon over at Mansfield, and one all between Crawley and Newport. And we are 1-0 down here at Brisbane Road in quite silly circumstances, to be honest, especially since we've been dominating the game. 54-46 in terms of possession, six shots to two, and 1.4 expected to goals to 0.9. Kind of annoying, but what can you do sometimes? I want to clear the ball. The game says no. Case closed. A one shot and it's gone in. I wonder what it feels like. Try to fucking bait my left back into committing, and they've done well to do that because I have done that. <laughs> Alonso cuts it out. Roberts. Ball into Sar. Oh, fuck off, man. More like myself there. It was the pass I wanted to do, but I just couldn't do it right. I don't understand why you're not allowed to switch players off a throw-in. That's silly. Now my centre-back's that position. Good job, Contreras. Don't get the ball back, though. Double tackle. Still haven't got the ball. And uh, Alonso tried to tackle and instead of just booted it for a corner. <laughs> the game wants a wrangle to come on for Nezovic. It'll probably be Malangu when that happens, but... 
I'm glad it's paying attention to my players that are tired. Bloody short corners, man. Flip it in and hope somebody gets head on it. That's what I'm doing. Good play, but... Caught by Galloway. And there's plenty of Orient bodies forward, which means we could try and counter here, but don't really seem to have the urgency. Nezovic now into Roberts. Gonna need some support. Oh! Oh, I thought he put it into his own net. Ogie nearly put it into his own net, but it was saved by the goalkeeper. Tried to flash it across goal to Rodriguez. Nezovic wins it. Rodriguez falls over. Ah, oh, man. Have that, you cunt. Probably a book in as well. Rightfully so. It's not important, though. It is a silly challenge, but what can you do when he walks in my way, you know? Simply, don't trip over my leg. Free kick for the Orient then. Why are all my players nowhere near where I could be marking? I don't even, I don't know. You know what, I don't know. I'm not going to question this game. I mind of its own. Rodriguez. Too many players about. Nezovic. There's just too many Orient players about, man. It feels like there's more than 11 of them on the pitch. Oh, can I just... Oh, that's fine. I've not won the ball there with Contreras, no? Okay, cool. oh, yeah, that's probably 2-0 then. That was an awful shot. Easy stop from Mancini. Didn't pass it there. Gone through my player's legs. Ah, I'm excited for this second goal from Leighton Orient that they don't deserve. I just can't, I can't move before they tackle me. That's going Mancini's all day long, nice. Good collect. Awkward, he's had okay days, Mancini. Nothing could do much about the goal, because the goal just was given to them on the plate, so. Go on, Sar. Oh, what a run, and if. I'm gonna scream. This is where I bring on fucking Harry Howell. You know what? I'm going to bring on Orango. I'm putting the faith in the fucking young man. Sorry's not filled me with any confidence. Orango can come on and we'll bring on bloody uh, Malangu as well. Some of the players that stood out in the Rotherham game might stand out here. You just never know. Saran Nezovic for Orango and Malangu. We need two goals, or at least one, preferably two, but looks like we're getting zero at the moment. Alonso cuts it out, and it goes to Roberts. Can't find a rango with it. Good interception again. Their defence has been phenomenal today, got to be honest. Can't dive in with Alonso in case he got red carded. Ball is in, good save Mancini. Oh, this is a stressful one as well, because the one goal that's happened makes me want to headbutt the fucking wall. But at the same time, they've been phenomenal defensively, so I can't complain too much about a defensive end. Moffat wins the header, it's not going to fault one of my players. Why would it? You know, I've only aimed it for one of my players. Good cut out by Arango. Still going to fall to them. Just want, to, just, want to, just want to clear the ball, please. Allow it. Buffett gets it to uh, a Choa here. Now Rodriguez. He's got the pace, but he just needs some support here. Our support comes in the form of Jay Morango. Come on, lad. Come on, lad! 1-0! What a player this kid is. And what an inspired substitution. Jay Morango, remember the name. 
I'm going to be honest, I don't know how he's gotten through. Oh, that was rude. That was rude. One all. A good flick and what a finish as well. Fucking deserved as well. This kid, I, I might have made a mistake sending him out on loan. He might need to stick around. Serrano coming off now for an Orient Orient player who I don't know the name of because he won't show his back. Narrow Orient change after that equaliser. Come on, Hartlepool. Go on, Cochrane. Fight for it, fellas. How? Nah, explain. I've done a fucking good tackle there. Bick coming on for Serrano. Good save, Mancini. Try to close it down, just try to stay calm, but the fucking temptation to slide through one of these idiots. I'm trying to thought it was two on late in Orient, but that's a great save from Mancini. Just proven himself to be a good backup. Decent performance in the Rotherham game, and he's uh, come to life in this one. Ball in. Headed away, only as far as Leighton Orient's archer balled here. Ball back in. Going to fall awkwardly. I've made the tackle. Not going to get to keep the ball, though. Cleared away by Contreras. Counter, Arango. Rodriguez needs some support. On the left in front of Cho, if he wants to make the run, he doesn't. It's okay, Arango. Off he goes again. Oh, my God. Oh, just off target. That would have been a heroic fucking goal. Arango is something special, man. I think I might cancel his loan, you know. But no, we've got to, no I, I won't because we've got a lot of striking options at the moment. We've got Howell, Saar and Rodriguez. Arango's fourth in the pecking order and I don't want to have him have no time at this club when he could get game time at our club and grow into a superstar that I know he can be. Contreras closes that one down. Malangu, Roberts, Alonso, Malangu, Rodriguez, Achoa. Oh, what a save! That was great play, just sliding the ball through to whoever was available. And that's a fantastic save, man. Now Sotiriu for Leighton Orion up the other end. Headers in. And the header's off target. We've got a little bit of time. Whatever injury time comes up on that board, we're going to soak in every bit of it and try and get a winner. We did it at the start of the episode. Can we do it here and get a win here? Cochrane to Rodriguez. It's cut out. Comes back to Cochrane, though. Ah, oh, it's a poor ball for her to Arango. Now Leighton Orient will go. And they've got the time on their hands now. Contreras cuts it out, and it's cut by Griffin. Cochrane wins it. Rodriguez, it was actually got, meant to go to Rodriguez. Ochoa picks it up. Can't lay the ball off. Keeps hold of it, though. Fran Ochoa. Into the open, Malangu. Rodriguez, turn your man and shoot. Turned his man, but there's another man there. And I think that's going to do the job. Malangu might get one more chance. That's it. No, one all draw. Whether it's the right result or the wrong result, it's the result we've ended up with. I feel a bit robbed. But uh, at least we got the equaliser. We didn't get defeated, which is absolutely fine. To the point, at least. We would have preferred the three, obviously, but we'll take the point. Jay Morango with a beautiful equaliser after a lucky goal from Leighton Orient's... Uh, I forgot who even scored it. But Leighton Orient got an error. I think it was Archibald. Got the lucky goal as I was trying to clear my lines. Pressed to clear the ball and it didn't clear it. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Good uh, shift from a lot of players in that game from us, but their defence was fantastic. one all is probably the right result, ultimately. 53-47 to 47 in terms of possession in favour of the home side. We had 10 shots to their 7 and 3.3 expected goals to their 2.9, but not too much to separate us, to be honest. So fair play, a draw... I don't want it to be a draw because I need the wins, but probably the right result. Man of the match goes to Fran Ochoa 
with a 7.7. .7. Actually, it's three players with a 7.7. .7. So take your pick. Either Franachoa, Domenico Mancini, or Ramon Alonso can have any of those Man of the Match awards for us. Uh, take your pick. But Mancini, five shots on his goal today, four saves. Conceded one, but it was an unlucky one that I couldn't do much about. And ultimately, it was uh, a draw in the end. Rodriguez with the assist in 7.6 and the goal coming from the substitute Jay Morango and a goal was the goal was fantastic. Um slight performance from everyone, but just a bit unlucky with conceding. And man of the match was Archibald, a goal and an 8.8. .8. Got very lucky to score it, but he did score it. Drinan, or Drinan, I should say, with plenty of opportunity to cause us issues. With Rob Hunt doing a good job at right back to keep our left wing closed down for the majority of it. Burn. With 7.4, he got five shots in his goal, four saves, one conceded. But that goal from Jim Morango was beautiful. Um, I've got a centre back called Wilk, who is a he's a regen. Maybe an on him, potentially. We get to look at some of these regens that other teams have as well. Which is quite good about this. There's a couple in there that I might keep an eye on. Good little centre back there, and Daniel Wilk, and maybe a CDM and Connor Griffin. As well as the uh, Javi Serrano, or Javi Serrano, I should say. We're keeping an eye on him, keeping an eye on all of them. Post match interview then. Let's get into it. And we'll move on to the final game of today because it's warm. It did look good at half time. You're behind, look second best. I mean, we didn't look second best. I think we were the better side, to be honest. That was a game we should have been winning, but if it's negative answer, I'm not going to give it. We're resilient today. Try and keep the team morale up as we head to this final game of the episode. Players gave me everything. I think it was any inability to deal with Archibald. It's the inability for this game to work properly, but... The inability where my defender has to take two touches before he clears it, rather than just hoofing it. When I press to hoof the ball. I think that's probably the issue that ar was arisen there, rather than anything else. But that's okay. We move. Baldwin loan agreement comes through from Kalmar. So he will go, I think, Sweden, that is. Kalmar FF, he will go on loan in January and we'll stay there till the end of the season, see how he grows as we sim up to Grimsby with the final game of today's EP, hopefully end on a high note, but we drew against these guys last time. Where are we just now? We're fourth and they are eighth. A win could put us top if results go our way, right? How's top? Exeter. Well, yeah, maybe, depending on goal difference. But we're still very much in the conversation. We just need to make sure we don't fall out of that conversation like we did last year. Before we go in, though, we'll uh, take a look at the news. Super Sub Arango saves the day. Hartlepool United looked to be heading for defeat in the tightest of contests. Substitute Arango had the final say, though, and his goal was enough to salvage a deserved draw for his team. I think he has to get involved a bit more. He's such a good young player and he's got bags of potential not a team of the week for us but Archibald gets in there for Leighton Orient um, Hartlepool take on Grimsby we know that it'll be the same spiel it says every time Hartlepool above but Grimsby look to try and yeah play catch up yeah and Barrow and Carlisle in a uh, Cumbrian derby as well I don't think it's going to be that big of a game because I think Carlisle are quite high in the table and Barrow are quite not high in the table. But beyond that, fair play. All right, let's figure out the squad then. The Mills that comes back in after his international break. If he's got the stamina, which he does. Harry Howell can start ahead of Saar because he didn't really fill me too much confidence. And I'm honestly going to keep Arango on the bench again. I'm actually going to keep Arango on the bench. That's probably a bit of a weird shout, but I think I've got I think I've got involved in more, and we'll have Palacios for a chore this game. 
that is the team for this one, except also the goalkeeper, the main part. Malangu will not be the goalkeeper, just bear with me when I find him. And we'll put Hansen on the bench, McDonald just down there for now. I want McDonald to work out so badly, but we're getting so much better talents coming through. So I think we might have to find a loan for McDonald and see what he does out on loan, perhaps. But this is the team that we're going for against Grimsby Town to end the episode today, the final game of today's episode. Duncan in goal, Moffat and Alonso, the fullbacks, Contreras and Galloway, the centre backs, Cochrane at centre mid, Mills at Cam, Roberts off the right, Palacios off the left with Rodriguez and Howell up top. Goal news goes on because I'm a nosy bastard. For everybody for now. Once we get into a title race, as we continue out throughout the season, I'll probably just leave the goal news to pick itself. But in this game then, final game of today, Hartlepool United versus Grimsby Town at Victoria Park. Let's try and end on the win, boys. I also need to think of a title for this episode. I'm not really sure what I'm going to go with just yet. Right, boys, focus on the task at hand. We cannot drop any more points or we are in trouble. Because dropping points against Zori was not the move there. I wanted to win that one. But their defence was so goddamn good. But I'm pretty sure Grimsby played with a four back. And one of them is our former centre back, Curtis Flynn. So, they've also got Danny Bath. Why he's on the bench, I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure Emmanuel isn't even a centre-back. You know what, we're going with it. We'll take it. This game's broken, that's not my problem. Alright. Final game of today. Can we end with a dub, please? Cochrane trying to get the fans here in Victoria Park on their feet. And with Mills, Howell, and Duncan back from international duty and back in the lineup, I'm confident, honestly. Roberts has already passed Gallagher. Oh, Jesus Christ. This could be curtains early on. Oh, my God. You horrible man. That might be the quickest goal of the series. That might be the fastest goal in a Hartlepool United career mode. Roberts has sent Gallagher to the floor and he's just beelined on the goal and done a delightful chip. And it's 1-0 already. Well... Ethan Roberts did not waste any time getting out of the blocks here. Only the third goal of the season, but what a goal it was. And we have taken the lead very early on. I suppose that's my episode title sorted, unless anything else happens. And it will be uh, throwing here. Alonso putting enough pressure on Clifton. To give us a throw in. What's up, Josh? Welcome. No, I'm not playing at Bolton. Not today. That'll be probably a few days down the line. Back on the Hartlepool one. Palacios can make it two here in an instant. Rodriguez, it's closed down. Palacios tries to go in. But Crocom collects. 
Galloway. It's bounced off Orsi's head. Alonso, please win that. Thank you. Contreras. Um, Grimsby are pressing now. They're probably mad that they conceded so quickly. That would be two if I was them. Just let Roberts through. They're pressing us hard. Galloway gets it to Alonso. And with Mills moving into space. Harry Howell. It could be two. Oh, that's smooth. That is smooth. It could be a cricket score at this rate. Harry Howell. Two nil. Two up inside ten minutes. I suppose this is what happens when you don't use a backup team against Grimsby. That's a beautiful ball through from Roberts to Mills. The pass to Howell was fantastic as well. Composed, calm, brilliant from Harry Howell. I'm so glad I took a chance on this kid because he is one of my favourite strikers. I don't know how much mileage he has in the save because I think he's potentially still pretty low. But he's so good at just putting the ball in the back end net, which is what we needed last season. And we've got it now. And we were able to do it over and over again. Orsi's the one we need to watch. He's had three in his last three games. Contreras can't get the ball off. Uh, it's going to come back to Grimsby. The poor shot from Morrissey. Mishit it completely. I tried to get Moffat in the way, but it kept switching off him. I knew Contreras had committed and couldn't get back. Roberts into Mills. We are we're on smoke today, boys. Rodriguez might be a foot off. Palacios. Cochrane. Mills. Roberts again for a third. Oh, it's a good save from Crocombe. He's getting pissed off at his team. And I don't blame him. Because we have been electric. A fantastic opening 16 minutes here at Victoria Park. Two goals. And possibly the highest or the quickest goal. Um, quickest goal in the history of the club. Who's my highest rated? I think it's Contreras, who's my 72 rated centre back. If I think who's close. Big number five here, the big number five from Mexico. He's our highest rated player at 72. Uh, I knew I was going in because for whatever reason, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, absolutely honest with you. I have no idea why nobody is marking him. Why is nobody on Marrera here? Nobody's, everyone's just decided to leave him in his own world there. I think it was meant to be Contreras, but I committed with him. Is this the final? No, this is, a, this is one of the career modes that's going to take a long grind. A long way to get to the end of Herrera. Get one back for Grimsby. It's taken the wind out of my sails a bit, but at the same time, my defence should have been doing better there. But particularly Contreras, who I think was meant to be the man who's there. Meant to be there. Oh well. Goals are the order of today's final game, I suppose. Harry Howell could be going through again, but the pass didn't come off. I think it was a foot put in there before the pass came off. Tackle by Contreras, but the ball will go back to them because, God forbid, I win the ball. And they've they've awoken since that goal back. Could be another one on the cards here. I think it's going to be a corner. Contreras with the block. This is the final game of today's stream. Um, on game, I do five games per stream for this, and this is the final one. Ball in now from Khan. I don't know why my keeper hasn't come for it, but that's okay. We've headed it quite nicely. Come straight back to Grimsby, though, for whatever reason. You know what? I know the reason. It's because the game wants to just mess me up today. I hate this video game. I hate playing this game. I really hate it. Why do I play it? We started off so well, and the game was like, oh, did you? Feels like they're going to score every shot they have today, to be honest. I was so excited when we went 2-0 up inside 10 minutes, and then they've just gone and decided, well, we'll equalise. It's only 27 minutes in. 
This Marrera kid seems to be a regen who's quite good. We're going to have to fucking find him and see what he's about. Palacios might get another goal here for us. Oh my god, he's mishit that. Right, well, before, before we see the end of that, I want to see what this Marrera kid's about. He's a centre mid. 66 rated. Maybe have a look at him. That's an awful shot from Palacios. Just didn't catch that at all. Bloody game, man. I'm, I was cl I was playing sailing, having a great start to this game, and then suddenly FIFA walks in the door and says, oh, hello, and just fucks me over. Harry Howell's offside. He wasn't offside. I can't... I need to play to the whistle after I realise that um, maybe he's not offside sometimes. Good save by Crocombe. Oh, God. Well, this has been an up-and-down episode. But there's been a lot of um, riggery, I would say, today. We'll put it as... Put it down to... Rodriguez is offside anyway. It's still not a good save from Crocom. Ah, uh, mate. I just feel like I ain't getting anything in these last couple of games in my favour. Just feels a bit rigged, but ultimately, maybe I'm just playing not as good as I think I'm playing. I just get instant onto the floor and now my player is injured. Oh, for crying out loud. Cochran somehow loses that out. I'm not, not really sure what's going on anymore. How have they gone from Grimsby to Barcelona? Good save, Duncan. And the injury is still... It's Ramon Alonso. The man's still down. This could be a long-termer. This could be a long-termer. I think we have McGregor on the bench. He's going to have to come on. Does not look good for Ramon Alonso. That could be a long, long time out. It does give an extended run in the team, potentially, to Ollie McGregor. Yeah, he's gone. it's a knee injury at best. He's holding on to his knee. And he can't continue, so Ollie McGregor comes on. Drop ball. It'll play it back. To Logan Duncan and we'll play again but hopefully that ain't anything serious the fans applauding Spaniards contributions to the team so far and he's been so so good I hope it's not anything that's a long term a Rodriguez good save by Crocombe as Barrow take the lead against Carlisle it's not been the game for us we start I mean it's been a Action pack game. We've scored the quickest game, uh, goal of the season, probably. And Galloway gets a narrow header in the back of the net. It's 3 2 before the break. Jesus Christ. This game is all the madness. It's a beautiful ball. Galloway gets in front of his man, and it's a cracking header. Didn't expect him to be the one to win it because he's only five foot ten, but it's brilliant. And I don't know what the defender on the line's doing. Just needs to jump, and it's probably defended. But Ewan Galloway makes it three two. Used to be a striker, don't you know? Uh what a game! So we've had. Possibly the quickest goal of the season. We've gone from 2 0 down to 2 all. A season ended injury. And then we've gone taking the lead again. All in one half. Really is FIFA in it. Contreras. Rodriguez. He's got the pace to beat Emmanuel here, especially since Emmanuel isn't actually a centre back. Howell's asking for it. Howell's going to get it. Nearly found his way in. Crokin made sure.
Moffat going to knock it back to Duncan. I thought it was going to go off the pitch for a second there. Panicked. 1-2 between left back and goalkeeper as Cochrane makes a move now. And that's going to be Palacios who has the pace down the left here. Can he find the ball in to Curtis Mills or even Harry Howell? Not quite. He's not going to fall for either of them. It was more intended for Mills but locked onto Howell. And it's 3-2 at the break. It's a goal fucking fest here, boys. Moreira is a little uh, worldly of a game. Maybe we have to keep an eye on him if we need our centre mid, which at the moment we don't. But he looks a bit of all right, he does. Good player. The buff is shots past Logan Duncan. 1 0 to Crawley over Gillingham. 1 all between Newport and Swindon. 1 0 to Mansfield over Morecambe. 1-0 to Wimbledon over Doncaster. 1-0 to Barrow over Carlisle. 1-0 to Rochdale over Bradford. one all between Tranmere and Leighton Orient. 0-0 between Salford and Colchester. Crew drawing 0-0 with Harrogate. Extra drawing 0-0 with Forest Green. And it's a lead for Sutton over Stevenage at the moment. Looking at the stats then at halftime, it's a bit lucky for Grimsby to even be in this game, but they are. 57 to 49 in terms of possession, or 57 to 43. Maths is difficult. Uh, 11 shots to 4, and then 3.6 expected goals to 1.9 in favour of the home side, which is, of course, ourselves. Well then, I mean, it's 3 2 at the break, but Godness knows how many goals are going to be in this one. I don't really know, to be honest. I feel like it's going to be one of those games where I defend. Perfectly fine. Don't get the ball back the majority of the time and then end up losing somehow. The last time we met with Grimsby, it was a goal fest. So, not really surprised too much. Try to find room for Moffat to play the ball off here. He was just going back and forth and eventually the Grimsby player got sick of it. Oh, Cochrane's got to do it. Maneuvers away. Smart by Cochrane. I'm waiting for Palacios to move. Goes into Rodriguez instead. Howell is on. No, he's not. They brought the defensive line forward. Bollocks. Free kick Grims be following the offside. Rodriguez. Howell's not going to win that. I don't know why I'm putting the ball over the top for a five foot six striker. Now, if it was the other way around, I'd understand, but Gregor with a good header. Plays the ball away. It's going to be a Grimsley throw. Gregor closes it down for a corner. I'm still concerned about Ramon Alonso, you know. I don't know what the future of his is going to be. Salinas coming on for Orsi. Not able to find the goal today. I know he's going to score a goal because the substitute strike always seems to score a goal past me, whatever the fucking situation is. Played by Roberts. Palacios can bring it away. He does. Into Curtis Mills. Howell's asking for it, but it's not going to make it there. Mills cuts it out though, wins it back, makes up for his uh, error. Cochrane now off to Moffat. I don't know where Palacios is. Moffat's just going to go the whole ra uh, whole run then. Moffat into Cochrane. Not a bad effort. Croker had it sorted, but a decent effort from Jack Cochrane. Nice substitution now for Grimsby Town as Can makes way for Hunt. Corner kick, Hartlepool. Towards Galloway again. You might as well, if it works once, it might work twice. Palacios to Mills. Harry Howell going to find a way through, potentially. Harry Howell uh, gets caught with a tackle. Now Grimsby could counter. Tried to block it with McGregor, and now the ball's just going to go... Yeah, cool. If that had gone in, I think I might have just turned off my Xbox at the wall. 
and redone this game another day. A genuine, that's so stupid how it's even come about. Cochrane into Howell. I want more per look there. I can I said potentially to Palacios, but it's a fucking tongue twister, I can't speak. Sure, the big lump gets in the way of that pass. Now Cochrane, he's been fantastic today. Electric in the midfield. Could find Howell. Doesn't, unfortunately. Cuts out. Pass. Does the Grimsby man. And now it could be a go for Grimsby. Moffitt makes a crunching tackle. They win the ball back. But they've got a Grimsby man down. They don't care because they've got a potential leveller. And that one will go in because I. Uh, it's the video game, isn't it? <laughs> it is the video game. That's the way it goes. thought he was offside I guess he wasn't um, also I'm very confused why I wasn't allowed to be Contreras but that's okay going for the smaller man who wasn't near the ball makes a lot more sense it's a Marrera hat trick that man is on some fucking performance dancing drugs I'll tell you that much for free it's another three all against Grimsby Town oh you just love this game don't you they do not deserve it but my god, are they in it? Salinas has an injury. Must have been the guy who went down to the Moffat tackle. Uh, we're going to make maybe a couple more changes. I'll bring on Bigger Rang Dog and the Choa and Nezovic. Game does my head in, man. I'm so glad this is the last one because I've lost all. I, I start every episode with full of hope and expectation for this team. Then audio issues come in. Then I actually play the game for more than an hour. Why is. It's not where I've aimed to pass at all, is it? Why would I pass it off the pitch? And then what, after about two or three games, I realised that his career mode is just pain and suffering. And then for the last two games, each episode usually. It just fucking scripts him into something. It's like clockwork at this point. Rinse and repeat. Probably should have bought off Rodriguez instead of Howell. Maybe should have kept Mancini in the goal. Duncan's not really been fantastic today. Moffat does enough to bring it away. I was half expecting that touch just to fall to a Grimsby striker and go 4 3 up then. So I went silent. I was like, okay. Arango making the run through. It's just going to lock onto the goalkeeper, is it? Yeah, that's exactly right. You know what? Exactly where I put the ball. Thank you, video game. Cochrane, I tried to aim it to Rodriguez. Apparently, Rodriguez is not nine foot tall. Arango, try to get to Rodriguez. It just doesn't want to. Doesn't want to work for me. Someone else is now down on the deck. This Marrera kid can fuck off. Rodriguez, come on. Oh my god, I feel like... He says he's got 86 pace on his bloody stats, but I don't believe it, you know? It's, oh, you... F Can't be bothered. Everything this shot's gone in. You know those games you're just not allowed to win. I've had a couple of them today. That's the way it goes sometimes. If you're wondering why the goal difference is always bad, why I'm always conceding so many goals, you'd have to look too far. And I just want to put it into perspective. I'm not the best at defending. Oh. Salinas makes it 4-3 and the audio issues come into effect.
just watch the limbs. Fran Ochoa saving us after a stupid fucking game. I'm so glad I'm done for today, man, because I can't hack this game sometimes and it's just situations that shouldn't arise. There, it's a four-all draw. I don't know how. Apparently, they've had more, yeah, more expected goals. This game could fuck off if it thinks that. 56 to 44 in terms of possession. 14 shots to 10. 4.1 expected goals for us. 4.3 for them, though. Apparently, they've had more expected goals. I don't know about that, Chief, but... Fucking Marrera, kid. We need to keep an eye on him. Man of the match for us was Ethan, uh, Ewan Galloway. Sorry, um... Eight rating for him. Ethan Roberts did get a goal as well, which is why I was about to say his name. He got 7.7. .7. Moffat with a good rating. Rodriguez with an assist in the 7.6. Acho with a goal to seal us a point, which honestly should have been three. These stupid results are going to cost us the fucking promotion again, aren't they? 7.2 for Howell on a goal. An assist from Palacios with a 7.1. And then Mills with a brace and a 6.7 on the day. Not to mention Ramon Alonso going off with an injury. We'll have to see what that's all about soon. Bentel Moreira with a hat trick and an 8.6. Was man of the match, of course he was. Uh, Morris... Two assists and an 8.4. Flynn had a good day, apparently. Of course he did. It was against us. Uh, Salinas with a goal and a 7.3. Potential injury there as well. Otis Cam with an assist and a 7.3. And Kieran Green with an assist and a 7.3 as well. And that's how Grimsby line up. Crokham. 11 shots, 7 saves, 4 conceded. And Duncan with 8 shots, 4 saves, 4 conceded. Not a fantastic day for the Scotsman. But um, goals everywhere is the order, apparently, of today. What a fucking match to end the episode. A four-all draw where we score probably the quickest goal of the season. We save it late. We have an injury. And a load of bullshit as well. We'll be scouting that Marrera kid. Yep, there's seven bumps, of course. Lovely. That's exactly what we needed. The draw deserved a bit of a lucky break. No, we deserved a win. So the draw was absolutely the least we could have taken. We should have won that. I'm pissed off again. So stupid this game. Can't win them all, I suppose. But we need to fucking... We need to fucking win a ball if we want to go up, boys. That's the issue. I feel like I should be getting more rewarding more for my defence than what I am, really. I think it's probably my comment on today's episode. Baldwin's gone for um, that short loan move to Kalmar. And Ramon Alonso has an ACL injury. Which means we've got him gone for seven months, which is fantastic, because he's meant to be the marquee right back. And there goes Sam Baldwin's loan deal. Now I'm stuck between, will I go for the quickest goal of the season title, or will I go for the ACL injury title? We shall see. And Corsi, just want to let you know I'm feeling good, ready to come in for Roman Alonso if you need me next game. I'll probably have McGregor, mate. Well, that's going to wrap up another adventure on this career mode. Somehow we're in third. I'm not entirely sure how we've done it, but we've stayed in the automatic spots. I'm going to be honest with you. I am clueless as to how. Because apparently our defence is still leaky, even though I'm trying to play better defensively. It doesn't matter. The game will just me over whatever matter like whatever it wants to do Exeter started to build a lead at the top now with four points ahead of Doncaster who are in second word third a final auto spot with Tranmere Forest Green Bradford and Grimsby in the playoff spots Grimsby getting in there with that draw over us I believe and the bottom two at the moment Stevenage and Crawley Crawley starting to bring it back a bit Stevenage down there still and uh, that is the rest of the table 
As for the stats to end this episode, top goal scorer, our joint top is between Josh Davison of Wimbledon and Harry Howell of Hartlepool. Got Rodriguez in there on six as well. Saar on five. For assists, it is joint top five assists for Crawley, Ochoa and Mills. Two of them are our players, so we'll take that. And Rodriguez with three assists. Clean sheets will not be us because we've only got three. Seven now for Exeter City's Blackman. And we are falling a bit further behind because even when I try to defend, I ain't allowed to keep a clean sheet. So that's how beautiful this game is. So we'll take a look at the squad hub. Some position changes are done as well by the looks of it, so we'll go to them as well. Most performance or most appearances, Nezovic, Duncan, and Rodriguez with 14 each. Top scorers, Harry Howell with nine, Rodriguez on six, Sar on five, Arango on three in his limited appearances. Maybe need some more appearances for Jame. And that's how it looks there. And the assists coming from Franachola and Curtis Mills, five each, uh, with Rodriguez on three, Nezovic, and a load of others on two. And then Martinez and a couple of others on one as well. And then for um, uh, the Youth Academy, there's some position changes done, or at least there's one position change done for Sheehan, who hopefully will have his potential go up a bit if we switch him to right wing. His rating doesn't go up at all. Hopefully his potential will. I guess we'll see. With Evan Maguire... Moving to left wing as well. He goes from 51 to a 54. We'll work on him as well. Last but not least, the news. Sub Achoa grabs equaliser. Hartlepool United look for much of the game as if they'd be slipping to a defeat against Grimsby Town. Achoa though had the last laugh coming off the bench later on and grabbing the goal, which earned his team a share of the spoils. And um, I think that's it. We've got Colchester next. It'll be the same spiel. And of course, Ramon Alonso out for a good long time. Alonso was confirmed he won't be available for Hartlepool for around seven months as he recovers from his ACL injury. Lovely jubbly. Well, that's going to end it off today. Up next, next episode, we will start off against Colchester away from home before facing Harrogate. Getting our first taste of FA Cup games this season against Wimbledon. Forest Green away as well. And then we finish off against Stevenage. Um, and then after that, We'll get into November, December, and then eventually hit the January transfer window where we may need our fullback option. Uh, we shall see. But, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to wrap up this episode today. A good start, but a horrible ending. We finish in third for today. We're exactly where we started somehow, and I hope you guys have enjoyed. I will see you on Wednesday, ladies and gents.